Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> so, Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Very, very, very weird, man. Late. Late. Look, guys. All right, man. <laughs> Look, man, I'm an hour late, dude. I'm sorry, dude. Boo! Boo! Yo, part four is out, boys. Part four is out. Yeah, I saw... I saw Jordan was reacting to it. Man, I'm really glad all these people are reacting to it just to like spread awareness, man. This is the most attention that this piece of shit has ever fucking got. So eventually when he watches my stream today, I got something really funny. Got something really funny I want to um I want to talk about today. So when he starts changing the video titles, let me know and I'll talk about it. I want to make sure he's here. I want to make sure he knows how that he has no friends. And that the people that he desperately clings on to friendship, they're actually fucking abandoning him and betraying him. <laughs> and the sad part is, dude, he knows. He knows that his friends are fucking, they're not his friends. But he's clinging on to this, like, like there's this, like, the tiniest, the tiniest little bit of, like, hope, you know, in his shit heart that he might have a friend. You know, but no, he doesn't, <laughs> but no, he doesn't. So, uh, but we'll get into that later. Um, man, today, man, yo, we're just going to react and shit, you know, and we're going to, um, hold up. We're going to react. Um, I also found something like really, really interesting um, that I want to bring up. This is very interesting. Well, hold on. Wait, what the fuck is this? Um... Hmm. Oh. Uh, hold on. Hold on. I just gotta forward this real quick. Oops. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not sexting. I'm not sexting. Oh, wait. Hold on. The healer. Yo, yo, yo. The healer strike. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe I could tell Leo. Maybe that'd be a good video. Uh... Let me see. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, Leo. Um, yeah, man. Um, dude, um, man, thank you again for like working so fucking hard on this and also Sweeba too. Um, so all four parts are out. Now, even though there's like there's four parts, we're actually gonna do we're actually gonna do some more stuff, okay? It's just Leo's gonna take a break for a few days. <laughs> Okay. 
PTO approved. PTO approved. Do this in real life. Man, I'm looking a little pale. Um, okay. Yeah, Leo. Thanks again, man. Like, thanks a lot, man. People, this is like a, like, like, obviously this is a really important video for me, you know? Shut up, bitch. Um, oh, that's just rude. Hold on. Why can't I get the color right? Am I too red? No, I look okay. Okay. I look fine. You look like F, your vampiric envoy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Okay, so... Um, so, appa okay, so apparently when you uploaded that... Okay, so when I went to the media tour... When I went to the media tour, uh, you know, I talked to uh, Arthur's whoops and Todd and I was like, hey, man, I really want to do this dungeon with no healer because I think it's going to trigger some people. And it did. It was awesome. It did. And a few streams ago, I can't remember what date it was, but we like covered a forum post. Has there been any updates to that? Why don't we look at that again? And like, um, I guess for the next vid, a non-desolence vid, maybe do the healer strike because it would probably be super fucking funny. Because the thing is, is you can already do this in the game. So the fact that this, like these, the, like these people, they're surprised by this is very, is very, very humorous to me. Does anybody know what day that was that we like talked about that to like make Leo's life easier so he doesn't have to go through so many VODs? Does anyone happen to know? What the fuck is that? That's stupid. Okay, whatever. All right, fine. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. Wait, was it really the day the... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, the video's really funny. Does anyone have the forum post? Like, we could look at the forum post. Um. Before we do that, though, I... Well, okay, okay, okay. There's a new chilling scares. Okay, there's a new chilling scares. So... I feel like we need to watch the new chilling scares first, and then we'll talk about the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me get the let me get the forum page. Okay. Okay, so we can look at this again. Mm -hmm. Oh. So um. Um. Also, guys, what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? We were talking about it. Um. Oh, wait, this VOD? Okay. Uh, oh, this VOD? Okay, okay, I'll just link the VOD. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm just going to link the VOD, Leo, so you don't have to look for it. Okay, thank you very much for linking that. Um. Um... So, yeah, man, um, I want to thank you guys for, like, spreading awareness of this shit, man. Uh, now, I know it's, like, a four-part series, and it's really long, and some people, they're just like, man, I ain't got time for all that, and I completely understand. So, like, what, what we were thinking, we're going to make, we're going to make one more video covering all of this, and it's going to be a summary. <laughs> It's going to be a summary, and the summary is going to be between 25 and 30 minutes. And it's just going to be, it's just going to literally take sections from all of the other four videos, and it's just going to put it all into one, and it's going to be like 25, 30 minutes. 
So that way, like, because, okay, that way, basically, people can get a general overview of how fucking, you know, pitiful and fucking pathetic that Lionel actually is. Okay. No, yeah, that's another thing too, man, is that his his life is so vile and fucking depressing that it li- like uh, all, right, all right, just learning about his life, okay, is is so depressing to outsiders that they don't even want to he- like they don't even want to hear about it. It's like his life is just so fucking bad and who he is as a person is just so fucking awful that like, dude, people don't even want to hear about it because it's that bad. It's like hearing about just awful things, man. It's just like, I don't know, like violence, gore, assault, just all of that shit. It's just the the summary of a person with absolutely nothing in his life is just so depressing that a lot of people, they don't even, like, it's so bad, they don't even want to hear it. Don't even want to hear it. But but anyway, so so that's like the plan is that we're gonna take um uh let me see. Wait, hold on, yeah. Okay. Uh anyway, so like Ah, uh, sorry, Arthur's was talking to me. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna make a we're gonna try to make a video somewhere between twenty five and thirty minutes. Yeah. Oh wait, did he change the? Oh, okay. So he's here. The number one fan is here. Let's see. Okay, good. I want to talk about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. Uh, wait, hold on. Is it POV low IQ basement? Is that the title change? I'm going to come. Oh, we changed this one. All right, what's this one? Uh, content creator audit. They're not your friends. Oh, they're not your friends. Good, good. That's, that's so funny that, that he changed that. Okay, so I want to talk about something. I want to talk about friends. Okay, let's talk about friends real quick. <laughs> Okay, guys, you are going to fucking love this, dude. This is so funny. This is so fucking funny, man. Okay. All right. All right, check this out, dude. <laughs> check this out, dude. <laughs> you, you cannot make this shit up, dude. Okay, look. So, look. Tal is not your friend, idiot. And no one cares you're sad. Okay, so. Why this has relevance, okay? Why, why this has relevance? Okay, so. Um, oh yeah, this is some weird, creepy picture he sent my ex and like in hopes that he would like romance her or something. Anyway, uh, so, so basically, um, there were two people, there were two people, okay, that picked him up, okay, Tal and Rosie, all right, this is his alt account, obviously, Keegan's dead mom. Uh, I'm so glad Angie got woken up in her sleep by her friend. Uh, I want to, I want to quickly mention that, uh, Angie has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. And he considers Angie a friend. Trust me. She's not your friend. (laughs) She is not your friend. She is not your friend. Rosie is not your friend. Tal is not your friend. All of these people, didn't he use a community post? Actually, let's just take it from his own fucking words. Let's see. Let's take it from his own words here. Uh, where's it at? Oh, yeah. You see, I've met Tal in real life in strenuous circumstances, too. He spent a good amount of time around me and would have informed opinion on me as a person. Okay. I want you guys to remember this and would have an informed opinion on me as a person. I want you to remember this. Okay. Tal is not your friend. So this is a, um, this is a, this is his alt account. I'm so glad Angie got woken up in her sleep. Psychotic nude leaking broad. Okay. That that's, 
That's just projection because he leaks nudes. Uh, you fucking nauseate me. Karma is inevitable. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, he commented again. Uh, how does Angie feel about Zenosis Vex budging, touching Spudzy six times a night while she sleeps? Um, again, where's your evidence? No idea. <laughs> no idea. Just dude. Okay, no one believes you. I'm going to be the first to tell you, no one believes you. <laughs> you are full of shit. This whole groomer accusation, no one believes you. Because I proved that you're a groomer. Yeah, shut the fuck up, groomer. Shut the fuck up. Stop projecting. Stop projecting. Anyway, I thought you were a feminist protector of women. What happened? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is just more garbage. Okay, this is more garbage. Uh, now, here's the important part, okay? So this is Tal. Okay, this is Tal. Remember what he said here. He spent a good amount of time around me and would have an informed opinion on me as a person. Okay, so basically, Lionel is like, Tal's little bitch. Lionel has this very, 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 um, oh, actually, look, look at this one. Someone like Angelise, I played with her for years as a result of 14. She knows me quite well and would have a very informed opinion of me as a person. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, she thinks you are a fucking psychopath. She thinks you are a fucking groomer because I proved that you are. She hates you. She fucking hates you. You like you make her like sick to her fucking stomach. Okay, so if you think that Angie is going to, I guess, vouch for you, holy fuck, you are wrong. Holy shit. And if you think the same thing about Tal, okay, I'm gonna show you what Tal said. All right, so anyway, uh, remember he uh, he thinks Tal's his friend. So this is a message that he sent Tal. Now keep in mind. Um, Tal gives me everything you send him because he does not like you. He hates you. He wants to see you in jail. Tal has given me everything that you send him. So while you grasp and you hold on to that little bit of shred of hope and you cling on to this, this, you know, this hope that Tal is your friend, um, that's very, 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 I guess, um, it makes me very happy that you have that because, <laughs> dude, Tal is fucking shitting all over you, dude. Tal is shitting all over you so hard, it's insane. Because he's given me literally everything. And the fact that you think he's your friend, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that is so fucking funny to me, man. Just, just the thought of you sad or depressed is just, it's such a... It's such a nice, nice, uh, warm, happy feeling that I have. Anyway, so this is the uh, this is him. This is Lionel. This is a message to Tal. Hey, man, I appreciate you accepting my friend request in spite of what I said to you on that other account. I'm not surprised. I do you. I do remember you being a nice person. So this is what he said on the other account. Uh, this is it right here. This is his other account. So this, so this, you know, he basically admits that he has alt accounts. Okay. Uh, anyway, which is why I have to ask, and please, well, I guess it doesn't matter at this point, but when I ask if you thought I was freakishly ugly and you responded with, la mau, do you not realize that was insult enough? <laughs> You're so fucking hideous, man. Holy shit. Sideshow Lionel, man. That's the only way you're going to be able... Dude, you ain't get no job in customer service. Holy fuck, dude. You could put a grease fire out with your face and it would be a fucking improvement. Submerge your fucking head in battery acid, dude. Holy fuck. Do you not realize that was insult enough? I've accepted it. It's human nature, which is why I was... Which is why it was the literal first thing you blurted out when you saw me. Um, I'm so, dude, dude, I'm so glad that Katie called you ugly. Holy fuck, dude. You have not let that go. That has devoured you as a person on the inside. That has fucking destroyed you as a person. Good. Fucking good. Fucking good. Fucking ugly ass bitch. Uh, anyway, uh, I accepted it. It's human nature, which is why it was the literal first thing you blurted out when you saw me. But what I don't understand is in what God's name would possess you to screenshot that and share it with people. Literally, what the fuck? How is that fucking funny? <laughs> dude, it's beyond funny, dude. 
<laughs> oh my God. Mm. Anyway, I guess what I'm asking is how exactly the conversation wound up in the hands of people like Roxa and Zeno. Dang. Maybe it's because Tal's not your friend. Maybe it's because Tal wants you to go to fucking jail for being a groomer and a sexual predator. Maybe it's because, in addition to your face, he's also even more disgusted by your person. See, here's the fucked up part. Here's the fucked up part. Is that he's self-conscious about his looks, but he is completely oblivious and unaware that who he is as a person is a million, million, billion times worse than anything on the outside. That is actually insane. That is the mind of a fucking psychopath, dude. He oh, he is self-conscious. He okay, he's not upset about him threatening people. Like he's like he has no remorse for, you know, threatening people. He has no remor- uh, remorse for grooming Katie or being a sexual predator. No remorse at all. But what he is upset about is the fact that he thinks he's ugly. That is beyond psychotic but how is that fucking funny i guess what i'm asking is how exactly that conversation wound up in the hands of people like roxa and zeno it it ended up in our hands be, well i can't speak for roxa i have no fucking clue about that shit but it ended up in my hands because uh tal gave it to me tal and rosie gave it to me and they hate you and you are not their friend and they will fucking definitely 100 percent agree with me that you are a groomer a sexual predator an overall horrible vile person not deserving of the life you have but man Uh, Being hideous and deformed is my cross to bear, but man, God, and you know what's funny? I don't remember when I did it, but at some random point, I was like, you know, I'll just delete these messages since I wouldn't want people laughing about this. A little late. (laughs) Because we're fucking laughing, bro. Holy shit. The whole world's laughing. You, you Remember, you wanted the spotlight. You wanted the spotlight. You wanted me to make a video. You wanted me to bring spotlight to you and your channel. And that's exactly what I've done. I want, you, I want people to know exactly who you are and what you are. This isn't no, oh, don't give them the time of day. Don't give them spotlight. Nah, nah, motherfucker. I want to. I want to. 6K? Oh. Whatever. Anyway, I, I'll just mute this for a second. I'll just, I'll just stop that for a second. Anyway, uh, I don't remember when I did it, but at a random point, I was like, you know, I'll just delete those messages since I wouldn't want people laughing about this. Day late and dollar short, apparently. I guess it's just funny. It is indeed. How people enjoy being cruel. You of all people. Of all people, you say this? You are such a little fucking bitch, dude. You are such a little fucking pussy, man. You have this fucking nuclear vomit exterior, but but underneath, but underneath all of that fucking racism, fucking just horrendous person that you are, underneath all of that, there's this fragile little fucking self-conscious boy, and that's who you really are. And that's who you really are. And nobody should be afraid of you. Nobody. Not a single fucking person. Because the only thing you do is you just talk shit. That's it. That's the only thing you can do. All of it is okay because I'm ugly. Kick my teeth in. Because looking at me makes people mad. Mm. I wouldn't use the word mad, but whatever. I've been fucking waiting for this day. For people to start calling me ugly. I mean... I mean, according to you and according to witness testimonies, people have been calling you ugly all your whole fucking life. <laughs> it hadn't been just today. Uh, here we are. Call the autistic dude ugly. This is kind of disgusting because he's trying to blame his autism. Like basically, he, like basically, this entire message is him seeking sympathy. He's wanting to play the victim. This guy of all people, the fucking groomer, the fucking sexual predator is the person that wants to play the victim. What a fucking coward, dude. What a fucking pussy. Uh, 
I'm the villain of Eorzea. No. See, here's the thing. This motherfucker thinks that he is a part of the 14 community. You haven't been a part of the 14 community in fucking years. Okay? No one wants you. No one wants you. You have been exiled. You have been silenced. You have been shut the fuck up. You've been shot down. You've been put down like a fucking dog. You are not a part of this community, even though you say you hate this community so much, but you desperately, desperately want to be a part of it. But you're not. You're never going to be because you're a fucking groomer and you're a sexual predator. No one has... And no one has shit to say. Psychopaths just have a free pass to be as publicly horrific to me as possible. This is in... Dude, this is... Dude, when Tal read this, man, he told me. He was like, dude, I couldn't fucking believe he doesn't take responsibility for, any, for anything. Tal was blown away by the fact that you don't take responsibility for anything. Okay? Anyway, um, because guess my existence is a crime. Holy shit. Guess my existence is a crime. You don't deserve the life you have. Your existence is purely to cause people grief and misery and be a parasite on your fucking mother. That is your existence. That's your life. That's your life summed up. Yeah. So uh, your existence is fucking shameful. It is laughable. Venting, sorry, but I guess my question is why you thought it funny to leak that conversation. Video game streamer doxes my family in response to me pointing out his relationship with an adolescent. Goes on his stream, calls me ugly, and everyone laughs. (laughs) The only thing that this fucking guy cares about is himself. Like, dude, imagine being exposed for a groomer and sexual predator and the person that you are trying to get on your side, you are clinging to that last bit of hope that Tal is your friend and Tal is not your friend. Okay. He's not, he hates you. He despises you. You disgust him. Okay. You don't have to take my word for it. Just ask him, (laughs) fucking ask him. You don't have to believe me, but I can, but, but I can almost 100% promise you Okay. Anything you say to Tal, if I'm like, hey, is Lionel fucking spewing more bullshit? He's just going to give it to me, dude. He's going to give it to me. He has been, look, dude, I have been working with Tal this entire time. (laughs) Tal does not like you. Now, you think he does for whatever fucked up reason in your mind. I'm not going to speak for Tal. Well, I'm only going to speak for Tal on the things that he has actually told me. And everything I've said, he has told me. Let's see. Calls me ugly and everyone laughs. And none of the grown adults, the morally upstanding citizens of Eorzea, have shit to say. So I'm curious as to who is the morally upstanding citizens. No, Tal's an awesome guy, man. No, he's an awesome guy. Oh, here's the... um, Yeah, I added this to the doc. So anyway... uh, Morally upstanding citizens of Eorzea have shit to say about anything unless it's about me. Just wish I fucking understood. I didn't watch his stream. That is what they were talking about, right? Rosie and Angie. Okay, well, that's a lie right there. You didn't watch my stream. Bull fucking shit because you're watching right now. You literally just changed the title of a video. You lying sack of shit. Every single fucking time I go live, you are the first person in here. You can't get off my dick, okay? For a person that constantly wants to like sexually assault me, you cannot get off my dick for a single fucking second. You can't because I am like... I am so important to your daily life now. I have been integrated a part of just your daily life. You are obsessed with me. You couldn't stop watching me if you tried. The only way you're going to stop obsessing over me is if you're fucking put in jail. And even in jail, you're going to think about me. You're going to think about how much you hate me, and you're going to think about how much you want to fuck me probably because you're fucking weird. There is no way. They did not sit there talking about how ugly I am. 
I just want you to say it. Just fucking admit. See, dude, he is so self-conscious about the way he looks. And it is fucking absolutely hysterical that now the whole world knows this. It is so funny because you, you not only cannot hide as a person, but also your fucking face is everywhere too. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the weird picture that he sent my fucking ex to try to like romance her. Anyway, there is no way they did not sit there talking about how ugly I am. I just want you to say it. Just fucking admit that before these two broads went on Twitter, they were sitting in a call making fun of me. This guy, wait, for how I was born, disregarded my ugly ex existence and viciously attacked me for zero reason. For zero reason! Okay, so I'll, for those of you that don't actually know what the fuck's going on here, this guy has been factually proven to be a groomer and, and sexual predator, okay? Fact. It's proven. It's in court documents. All this guy cares about is two women that hate him making fun of his face. <laughs> that, that, dude... I have no words. I have no words for how fucking pathetic that is. I have no words. Like, this is the most incel thing that I've ever seen in my life that I've ever encountered personally. Now, I'm sure there's worse, but I'm saying for me personally. I'm not saying this is the worst. I'm just saying for me. So, now, I want to be perfectly clear here. I actually don't give a shit what somebody looks like. I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't really, like, view people in that manner, okay? I don't give a fuck. I have my own insecurities. Everyone has their own insecurities. But for this fucking idiot to sit there and stalk and harass people and be a groomer and sexual predator, good. Fuck you. You deserve to feel self-conscious. Fuck you. Okay? Bad, bad people deserve bad things to happen to them. Bad things should happen to bad people. And you are a very bad person. You are a horrible person. You're the worst person I've ever encountered in my entire life. There has been, no, there has been not a single other person I have ever encountered that has been more of a fucking worthless fucking sack of shit than you not a single person anyway uh let's see making fun of me for how i was born disregarded my ugly existence um and viciously attacked me for zero reason over nothing none of you know katie she doesn't remember either of you oh that's a lie that is a big old fat lie. Katie definitely remembers Rosie and Tal. Definitely. I can confirm this with 100%. Uh, and you legitimately leaked her nudes to thousands. This is actually fucking insane, dude. He is blaming Tal and Rosie for leaking her nudes. Yes. Are you fucking kidding me? This It was proven in court that you leaked her nudes. And, he, and even though it was proven, he's still trying to blame other people. Still. So you took... So you took a mistake, frozen in time, and just amplified it. Um, and then demonized me for it. So this is weird because now he's, now he's kind of admitting to it. So he's blaming Tal and Rosie for leaking her nudes, but then he takes responsibility. So you took a mistake frozen in time and just, dude, this, he's fucking crazy. And then demonized me for it. And I still have to deal with people bringing her up. Oh my God, he has a restraining order. I've got stranded in the middle of nowhere and left to die after a woman flew me out to move in with her. And I'm on good terms with her. Holy 
fucking shit. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now with 100 and million fucking percent accuracy. He is not on good terms with her. She is not his fiance. She fucking hates him. She wants nothing to do with him. She is disgusted by him. So the okay, I'm going to tell you this, man. Let's just say that if I were to tell her, right? Just theoretically that I were to tell her, hey, did you know Lionel thinks that you guys are friends? As a matter of fact, you're his fiance. I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to put my life on it that she would be absolutely fucking disgusted and she would, she would, okay, she would not only be disgusted but beyond furious that you would have the audacity to call her friend, let alone a fucking fiance. Literally because of my channel, this fucking piece of shit community. Sorry, I'm just venting at this point. You were a nice guy, man. Fuck. You know how grateful I was after that shit? I remember you got up at like 8 a.m. while you thought I was asleep to run to your car and get me a blanket. Aww. I was awake the entire time. Aww. So it was like you were like this? You were like... Yeah, you're like one eye open barely? Oh, my good friend Tao, get me a blankie. All right, so... So, <laughs> I asked Tal about that blanket. I was like, yeah, what the fuck is he talking about? And Tal was like, I don't know. I think I got him a blanket after I picked him up. <laughs> so, apparently, only one of you even gave a shit about that. Okay? Your little blankie? That's what you remember? Your little blankie? Oh, Tal gave you a little blankie, covered you up, made, you know, took care of you. Fucking crazy, dude. Holy shit. Okay, I'm just going to tell you this now, man. I want you to keep talking to Tal. Keep talking to Tal because everything you say, he tells me. And I just fucking look at it on stream and we laugh about it, man. Okay? That's what we do. Because if you... Be, it's freedom of speech, remember? Freedom of speech. Because uh, remember, if uh, if you're allowed to say whatever the fuck you want on your YouTube, then I'm allowed to say whatever the fuck I want. Well, within Twitch TOS, of course. Um, about you, I am, <laughs> I am definitely allowed to give my opinion on you. And um, let's see. Oh, we'll get to this in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's also funny. That's also funny. Um... So real quick, I'm going to summarize this shit. And this is proof that you will, that you're just never going to change. You don't take accountability for any single negative action in your entire life. Everything in your life that you've done that has been bad, you just think that that's okay, that that's fine. You will not take accountability for shit. And that's why you will die alone and have never have any friends. And you will live a worthless, pathetic life for the end until until you die and uh this is how you're going to be known as um and the only thing you care about is you you don't care about anybody else but yourself the for some weird reason you have this insane obsession with your online um reputation i can tell you this with 100 percent certainty that no that every single person that knows about you thinks that you are vile and fucking worthless Okay. No one gives a shit about you. No one believes you because of who you are. It's, it's very ironic that you think that you're ugly, like on the outside when however, however ugly you think you are on the outside, you times that by like 3 billion fucking million. And that's how ugly you are as a person. That's how horrible you are as a person. And the day you recognize that, if that ever happens is that's, well, well, I won't continue. Anyway, so that is what I think of this conversation. So no, Tal is not your friend. Uh, Tal is disgusted by you. He wants to see you in jail. Uh, it does not matter about how many blankie stories. Oh, a little blankie. Doesn't matter about how many blanket stories you bring up. He is not going to feel sorry for you. Uh, you dug your grave. Now fucking live in it. And that's it. Uh, okay. So this is another really, really funny thing that he sent him. The lawsuit was a motion default, meaning I, as the defendant, never engaged in the legal process. That actually, you forgot to include the part where motion default means that I win. 
that's the part that you forgot to include. So um, he's, he's very good at mixing half-truths, okay? He will take a half-truth and either leave out. Basically, okay, he will take something that is true and pick out parts of it that benefit his narrative, okay? So the, lo- uh, the lawsuit was a motion default, meaning as that I, as the defendant, never engaged in the legal process. True. However, the other part of that should have been, this caused me to completely fucking lose the lawsuit and get absolutely obliterated because I never fucking questioned anything because I never had any evidence. I never had a case and I shut my fucking mouth like a good little bitch because I knew anything I say would be fucking proven wrong. Yeah, you forgot to include all that rest, but it's okay. I got you. I got you. Um, I never had any sort of legal counsel. Uh, I have no fucking clue. I never once bothered to look into the legal process. Ooh. Yeah, about that. Uh, about that. Yeah. Maybe should take a look. Maybe should take a look. Yeah. Yeah, that was a costly mistake. If I was to say how much that cost you, I would put the ballpark estimate somewhere around $23,000. <laughs> That's a big fucking mistake, bro. That's a big goddamn mistake. Ah, uh, this is like this is just a funny picture, man. This is a funny picture. This is like his face when he saw you lost the lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> this is his face. We saw the lawsuit. We saw it was me twenty three thousand dollars. Anyway, anyway, that happened the other day. I just wanted to make sure that he was um he was watching. Oh, this is a very very hilarious, very hilarious. There's, there's so many things wrong with this post, dude. I'm aware that Zenosis Vex undeniably stated he would expose me as having committed sexual assault and being a groomer on the 31st, and yet, after having been exposed, it doesn't seem like he followed up on these accusations in spite of how serious they are. Nah. No, I didn't. All that court documents and evidence and all these witness testimonies. Nah, none of that matters because the only thing that matters in the court of law is just trust me, bro. My supporters would never ignore this. And yet, my already small subscriber count isn't dropping. Okay, so first off, your supporters, which I'm going to bring up actually. Your supporters, albeit maybe like a very few handful of people, are mostly just you making alt accounts. This is something I found very interesting, actually. So, so if you notice, let's take a look here. Okay, let's take a look here. Now, this is very, very interesting information. So, let's talk about analytics for a second. So there's 662 downvotes, okay? Now, these 68 upvotes are clearly alt accounts. Now, I think I could prove this. So there's only 26 comments. There's only 26 comments here. Now, this is interesting because... Let me see here. Um, He is screening comments. Uh, where is this video? Actually, I guess I can pull it up on the sheet. Or wait. I believe it's in the second one. Um, okay, maybe it's in the third one. Yeah, it's in this one. Okay. So if I remember correctly. I 
I believe I scrolled down. I just randomly caught this today. So there's two things I want to show. I want to show that there's more comments at this time than there was than there is currently. Oh my god. Oh my god, the cut. Sorry, I should have had this prepared. Dude, my big fucking head is in the way of the comments, man. Scroll down! Scroll down! Okay. <clears throat> okay, anyway, I swear to God in this VOD. Okay, I'm not going to look through the whole VOD. But in this VOD, there's 34 comments. And now there's 26. But you know what? That's not even the point I was trying to make. <laughs> okay, look. This is the point I was trying to make. 26 comments here. Okay? Not a single one of them is bad. Okay? Wait, yes, correct. There was 34. Okay, yeah. So you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Okay, so somewhere in this VOD, I actually scrolled down, and there's 34 comments. Now, on this same video, on this same video, there's 26. So that means he deleted like eight. And those eight comments were probably, po were, were probably positive for me and against his favor, okay? Now, here's the important part. Look at six, 26 comments. So then if you look at my thumbs down, there's 23 here. And then if you look again... There's 28. Now, this is very interesting because it's almost like all of the people that commented are also the same people that are thumbs down in my video. Hmm. Hmm. You've also been exposed for making alt accounts and commenting to yourself and liking your own posts. Hmm. That's very interesting. That's a very interesting analytic that I noticed. 26, 24, 28. Hmm. Very interesting to me. Very interesting. I wonder how many alts that he has. I'm willing to bet about 20. Willing to bet. Remember, this guy's got a full-time job, he says. He's got a full-time job, he says. And he also bought his, his mom the last two cars. Yeah, so, um, so like, I challenge you to stop screening comments. I challenge you. Because I guarantee you will not like your comment section. <laughs> Fucking pussy. Fucking pussy. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to bring this up because this is absolutely fucking hysterical. So, anyway, yo, Young, thank you for the thank you for the resub. Uh, Seth with the sub, welcome to the channel. Darkness Fist with the tier two, sixty six months, man. Uh, Jeremy with the sub, welcome to the channel. Illumi with the resub. Ashes, uh, twenty two months. Malvar with the twenty two months. Yo, Bish with the five gifties. Cool with the five gifties. Robo with the massive 100 eons. OG day one. Uh, Bish as well with the resub. Thank you very much for the five gifties and the resub. Stan with three months. Um, Pythias with four months. Cause with the 18 months. Dude, thank you guys so much for all the subs. Holy shit. Uh, Eden with the resub, four months. You owe us court required kisses. Thank you. Do it, T. OG. Day one. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, all right. 
I just wanted to point this out because this was fucking funny, dude. Yeah, so keep sending Tal messages, man, because the more you send Tal messages about this fucking cringy-ass shit, he's going to keep giving them to me. I can keep flaming you, man. <laughs> Excuse me, not flame you, but voice my opinion. Sorry, I would never do that. I, don't know, I would never do that. Anyway. Ooh. That's nice. Um Let me check something real quick, guys. Um, I gotta check something real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. What is this? insane oh wait a minute wait a minute oh this is fucking sick dude yo what do you guys think of this yo look at these man don't these look sick yo tell me don't these look sick yo what do you guys think of this dude don't dude don't those look cool like I'm thinking, like I want to make this X right here. I want to make it my off-screen banner. Yeah, I think this is really cool. I think this shit's awesome, dude. Dude, I fucking love, man. I don't know what it is, but just okay. So, so like I don't know what it is, but just this grid, this fucking grid i love this shit man just like the colors of you know orange and blue with like a grid behind the x dude i think it just looks so fucking sick you know what it came from um so when i had will do the commission uh when i yeah when i asked will to do the commission dude no it's the water no it is no it was from the pool rooms no hold on maybe i have um no, it's from the pool rooms. Oh. <laughs> My liege. Hi, Strum. It's from, the, it's from the pool rooms. Let me see if I can show you guys. Hold on. Uh, yo, Gloria, thank you very much for the, five, for, the, for the $5 donation. Thank you very much. Um, hold on. Let me, let, me sh let me show you guys this, man. This is like the original. This is like, uh, like it was like maybe a year ago. I had these, this is where the grid came from. And it was like Will's idea. That's the thing, man. It was, it was, it, it was all Will's idea. He basically made, okay. So look, look, this was the original, right? So this is like the pool rooms. He put this back here because he was like, yeah, I know you like the pool rooms and I'm not necessarily a fan of the tile per se, right? Like I thought the tile was okay. It's not bad. But for some reason, man, this the the lava seeping in between the tiles is just so fucking cool to me, man. It's so fucking cool. 
like, I don't know why I just, I thought this was so awesome, man. But just like this, you know, you had this like lava, like seeping into the cracks, you know, it's just so cool. Anyway, so that's why that's, that's how the whole grid thing started, dude. Yeah. I just think it's so cool, man. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, ugh, let's get this garbage off here. Um, Uh, okay, so I want to watch this, and then and then I want to talk about the healer stuff. Um, let me see. What's the meaning of X? X comes from Zenosis, which is my my handle on everything. In Zenosis, comes from uh, the main character of a book that I was writing. What do you mean, who asked? You literally asked. What do you mean? Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. You literally just ask. Or wait, was that you? Oh, fuck. That actually wasn't you. You know what? Get the fuck out of here anyway. No, I, no. Okay. See, here's the thing. Okay. So fab, I can't even pronounce your whole fucking name. So I just, I, I just pronounce it as fab Uchi. Uchi. Is that weeb? Ugh. That's weeb. Anyway, wait, look at the first article. Wait, what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, dude, the gamer, bro. Okay, okay, yo, 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 yo. Let's, yo, let's react to this, dude. <laughs> yes, I made it. I made it. I made it. We're on, a, we're on an article. <laughs> Call me Fabby, did it? Okay, so, okay, no, no, no. See, here's the thing, is that Fabby starts with F. Feath starts with F. So it's like, you guys are like dumb and dumber. You're like Beavis and Butthead. Because both of you say equally dumb shit, and both of your names start with F. F equals ban. Shut the fuck up. That's not even what I said. That's not even what I said. Get the fuck out of here. All right, I have to pee. I have to pee just real quick, okay? Okay. All right. Um, let's um. Let's just briefly take a take a second. Um. Oh, hold on, I got a couple of pings. What the fuck? No way, bro. No way! Oh my god. Okay, hold on. 
this was a post. No way this is real. This was a post from July 2014. No way this is real. Hold on, 2014. He's not even. Wait. No, that does. Let's see, he was 18. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. All right. Any females interested in Marion and Ellison? Black in real life. Hi, my in game name is Howard Moon. Ever since they announced the Eternal Bond system, I made it my mission to find a cute white girl. I'm black, so don't think I'm some sort of George Zimmerman apologist. To marry in Final Fantasy XIV and possibly take it to the next level. Maybe moving in together, getting married, having kids, all that fun stuff. No way this is real. No way. I'm 19 years old. I'm not getting any younger. I'm a virgin and haven't kissed a girl in over 10 years. My last and first relationship was online and it lasted two years. She dumped me. I'll admit at first it was very hard, but now I'm no way this is real, but now I'm starting to get over it. I'm trying to get into the final fantasy 14 dating scene. Here's the issue. I don't know any girls and I have extra social anxiety due to being bullied for being a loser. Right middle. So if you're a guy and want to help, refer to me to your attractive lady friend. It no fucking way, dude. I don't want anyone to waste my time. Since the person I end up with could possibly end up being my life partner. So I'm going to tell you my pros and cons so that you can look them over so you can make sure you're interested in me. Pros. I'm very emotional. I cry easily. Two. I have no job. Meaning I would be ready. <laughs> this motherfucker hasn't fucking worked a day in his life, man. Yo, let me ask you guys a question, okay? Let me <clears throat> let me ask you guys a question. How many how many of you worked when you were in high school? Had like a part time job or something like that? Like if you didn't, that's fine. I understand. But some of us, we actually worked, so we would like go to school and then either work after school or we would work on the weekends. Like, I had to do that. I've had a job since I was 15, man. Yeah. I've had jobs since I was 15. No, I know. Yeah, this post is from 2000. Well, the post is from 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have no job, meaning, meaning I would be ready and extremely willing to devote all my time to you. I'm very cuddly. By cuddly, I mean I can put the... I can put the mic closer to my mouth so it feels that I'm next to you. I'm really starting to think that this is not satire. I am starting to think that this is legitimate. My mom is a fantastic cook. She recently started make a, making pizza. Mind-blowing. I'm very average in every way possible. So if you have self-esteem issues, I would be the perfect person for you. My in-game character is most likely the most handsome Elizan on Leviathan. <laughs> I'm into anime and manga. Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, and Dragon Ball Z. Holy fuck, yo, that is true to this day. <laughs> In addition to being into anime, I'm also fluent in Japanese. So you wouldn't have to wait for subs to enjoy your favorite Japanese shows. I love cats. I have three cats. Kit Kat, Little One, and Simba. I didn't name them. I have the metabolism of Zeus. I do next to no physical activities each day. Okay, no, no, no. I believe this is Sim. 100%. 100% this is Sim. 
My diet consists of sour belts, chicken, steak, pork chops, Oreos, and French fries. I look somewhat toned, even though haven't set foot in a gym a day in my life. I'll keep it 100% with you guys. Here are a few things you should know about me that might be considered bad. Cons. I have no job. I sound white, so even though I'm black, I wouldn't be able to intimidate those who are... Ooh, What in the fuck is going on, dude? <laughs> I'm very clingy and dependent. So if you tried leaving without giving me closure, I can't promise I wouldn't react in a non desire Holy fuck. This is insane. Leo, I'm sorry. This has to be another video. I'm sorry. Leo, this has to be another video. Money is tight, so I wouldn't be able to purchase you any presents outside of Final Fantasy XIV. Motherfucker, you said you bought your, your bomb the last two cars. I can't spend more than half of my allowance on... <laughs> His allowance? <laughs> no fucking way, dude. This has got to be fake, man. This is... This is... Okay, okay. This is like starting to blend and blur the line between reality and meme. Okay? So, like... Basically, even if, okay, see, here's the crazy part, guys. Here's the fucking crazy part. Even if all of this is like supposed to be lull, it's a joke, all of this is like true. This describes who he is, which is fucking nuts. Okay, Bill, deal breakers. Wow. Wow. Being 21 plus, too old. Yeah. Yeah. That's really ironic 10 years later. Very ironic. Considering the fact that you've been exposed as a groomer. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually fucking sick. Holy shit. Being 21 plus, too old. I need someone I can relate to, not someone who could be my teacher. Being too attractive. I have self-esteem issues. I can't be with someone who's much more... <laughs> I can't be with someone that's much more attractive than me. <sighs> Three, Rogadin. Oh, come on. Uh, Ro okay, okay, Lollafell, yeah, obviously that makes sense, but this contradicts actually what's up here, but you know what, that's a whole other discussion, but come on, Rogadin, dude. Let me tell you this right now, man. If I ever met a nice femro mommy dommy to just absolutely fucking put me in my place and call me her pee pee piss boy, I would love that life. That is like one of the lives that I that I hope to to achieve, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, you guys, you guys in the chat right now, you're like, well, you're live. You're live. Yeah, good. Good. Fucking good. I'm glad I'm live. I want everybody to fucking know that, okay? All right. Anyway. Um L wait, what? Wait a minute. So he only wants a, a Highlander or a Midlander? You don't like Auras or Mahotes? Summoner? Dragoon? What in the fuck? Being an anti-cat person. Not being into anime. Extending on that. If you're into slice of life 
anime, please close this tab out. At, what the fuck is Slice of Life? I don't know what that is. I don't know. Uh, wait, 2000? Nah, Oroz existed. Yeah, because they came out in Heaven's Ward, right? Yeah. Yeah, they came out in Heaven's Ward. They were, they were also like spoiled too. They talked about it a lot, which actually kind of sucks because um, have any of you seen the concept art for Aura? The concept of art for Aura was much better than the, than the, final, per, uh, than the final product. Oh, the post is from 2015. Yeah, the account was made in 2014. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, the concept art of Aura, they actually were uh, drawn as like more, like a lot more demonic than like draconic i guess if that makes sense they they had really they had like horns like on their on their head as opposed to their ears i'm pretty sure um yeah anyway the concept art looked quite a bit better anyway um horrible taste in tv shows e.g house of cards suits and any episodic show listening to ellie golding edm or trap look man Look, she had, look, I like, okay, and I'm not like the biggest fan of her, but she had like one really good song that I listened to. What was that song, man? It was like, uh, I can't remember. Anyway. All right. That covers everything. If you're interested, please PM me in game. And if everything checks out, we can take it to the next step and add each other on Skype. Please respond. (laughs) No way. Dude. The classic. The classic. Dude, where's it at? Somebody posted in the Discord, dude. Somebody posted this really fucking funny shit, man. It was like a picture of him. It was a picture of him. And then he was like, I want sex. Please respond or some shit. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Is this real life? I am scared. I certainly hope not. People fall in love over the internet all the time. It's only weird. Dude, this is, dude, I think this is serious. I really think this is serious. Doesn't number 10 and 7 and deal breakers kind of contradict them? Wait, what's number 10 and number 7? Hold on, number 10 and number 7. <laughs> or wait. Oh, yo, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, <laughs> I mean, kind of. <laughs> I think you made it weird with this thread, but it's perfectly amusing. You should just rewrite your post with seeking Hume to marry in game since you seem to hate about every other race. Also, no offense, but from the post, your line below is more likely to make people run away than interested. No one wants someone who can't let go if it doesn't work out. Three, I'm very clingy independent. So if you tried leaving without giving me closure, I can't promise I wouldn't react in a non-desirable way. Now, you know what? I think this is real. I think this post is real. I think it is because there's way too many, there's way too many truths in it. There's way too many like dark truths in this post, man. And this is so crazy to who the fuck found this man. Who the fuck found this dude? Holy shit. This is crazy. This is nuts. Uh, I don't see what's weird about the thread at all. I've just been having a hard time finding someone. And I was wondering if Mrs. White and. (laughs) Holy fucking shit. Mrs. White and right was on the forums. I'm glad you found, you find it amusing, but my life isn't meant to be a comedic display for others. (laughs) Holy fuck. Look, man. Uh, I, uh, this, I am surprised. Like every single fucking new thing I find out about this fucking guy is more shocking than the next thing. This is insane. Okay. 
good day to you. If you are interested, please don't hesitate to let me know. And vo- what the fuck? Okay. Oh, this is in response to um to this guy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I have attachment issues. I could have lied about it, but what am I? Uh, <laughs> No, no, this is real. This is fucking real, bro. This is real. You cannot convince me that this isn't real. When he posted this, he meant this. No, 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 no. He meant this 100%. No, 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 I'm convinced. I am fucking convinced, dude. Holy shit. This motherfucker hasn't aged mentally in 10 years. This motherfucker hasn't aged mentally in 10 years. Holy shit. This is like some weird fucking dude. It, okay, for any people that like study, I don't know, like human behavior or brains or anything, yo, they need to study this fucking guy's brain because holy shit, this is insane. This is exactly everything that you don't want to be all wrapped up in a single fucking mind. That's fucking crazy. Number 10 and 7 in Deal deal Breakers, cut, Clever Girl. Ugh, don't. Now you've ruined Jurassic Park for me. Ugh. Dude. Now every time I hear that guy say, Clever Girl, I'm going to think about this fucking post, man. Have you, ev- have you considered transferring servers so we could speak on a more in-depth level? I feel like we're on the same wavelength. Don't judge a book by its cover. This is a joke, right? This this can't be real, can it? Uh, what? If people can be this serious and picky in real life, so can people in game. I swear I thought this was some kind of world first progression recruiting thread with all the strict requirements. Ain't no one like that playing Final Fantasy XIV or Realm Reborn. <sighs> The deal breakers aren't that strict. All I ask is for you to be an average looking 19 year old white female that likes anime cats and black guys. <laughs> I feel like there are probably tons of girls like that on this game. Finding that combination while also finding a girl into black dudes might be a bit hot ho- dude. Holy fuck, man. But hell, you'd be surprised. Jungle fever is becoming an epidemic. But like, it's a, who, who found this? Who found this? Hold on, I got. (laughs) Who found this? Oh my God. No, we're reacting to it. Oh my God. Dude, somebody found this and then they're, oh my God. Spooky. Wait, spooky. Spooky found this. Oh my God. Where's spooky? Are they a VIP? I'm about to kick somebody off VIP. They're getting a VIP. Talk, say something. You won't. Cause if you do, you'll get VIP. Oh, Spooky is already VIP? All right, then I'm going to ban their ass. I'm going to unban them and VIP them again. Fuck them. (laughs) I thought my wearing all tank accessories as a white mage and spec 30 vit thing was a bit out there, but this one is way beyond that. Don't think it's a joke, right? Maybe try making friends and Skyping them and then go all picture perfect on them. At least you have made a friend in the loss instead of fishing on the forums, which would get you almost there. Uh, 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 okay, whatever. whatever. Uh, okay, okay. I'm a Makote. Does that disqualify me by default according to your deal breaker section? 
All females in this game are absolutely beautiful, and it's sad that you would limit yourself to just one. If you are looking for love, then race, color, gender, and size should not matter. There's no way you can find a real connection to a real person in such a tiny window. The person who you do find, if you do, that matches your extensive criteria is more is more than likely a manipulative girl who is going to do whatever she can to sound perfect for you. And in reality, she will be toxic to your life. You're young. You shouldn't be looking for love, especially not over a computer. Go outside. Ooh, ooh. Experience the world. Ooh. <laughs> Find a job. <laughs> Bro, no. Duh. Stop. 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 He's already dead. He's already dead. Stop. Make yourself better. Learn who you are as a person before you try to sell yourself to another. I'm a number of years older than you, and I made the mistake of not finishing who I was before I let a partner into my life. There's only so much growing you can do with another human being, and everyone needs their own foundation before building up. I appreciate the advice. Although I did list Makote as one of my deal breakers, if you have a fabulous personality, this can be overlooked. I wasn't trying to come off as a snob. I just wanted to be 100% with everyone. Oh, God. This guy's like throwing somebody under the bus. You should try PMing my friend, Kung Goo Graystroke. Ooh. Next time she logs on in game. She's new to game. I think she fits. Oh, my. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now, all right? You are not a friend, okay? You are not a friend if you recommend your friend to message, uh, to, like, respond to a fucking Final Fantasy XIV dating profile app on the forums, okay? Holy fuck. Are you baiting me? Nah, man, don't be shy. <laughs> This is, dude, this fucking, uh, looking for love in all the wrong places. A lot of people I speak to on this game are married to women they've met over the internet. This is fantastic place for an in introverted person like me to look for love. I already have a few people added on Skype could possibly turn into something beautiful. You know, what's actually kind of really fucked up about this man. You know, what's really fucked up is, um, so he mentions that he already had a few people added on Skype, uh, through witness testimony, um, from the people that, that actually met him and knew him in real life, he actually took, uh, he recorded people over Skype. No, 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 no. This, this is, this is actually a thing. It was proven from wit, from firsthand witness testimony. He record, he would record people on Skype chatting with him. Yes. So actually the fact that he mentioned Skype is very damning. It's just people won't understand how, like the depths of the meaning of this. Uh, unless they dig really deep. But, um, yes. Uh, if you look under, um, um, uh, Okay, it's right here. Uh, okay, so I I'm not going to go through it because it's because it's pretty lengthy. Okay, I'm not going to go through it, but right here, but right here, uh, in this Imgur album, um, a firsthand witness mentions that he recorded people and tried to get people to do like sexually explicit things over Skype. So that he could record them. So the fact that he mentioned Skype here is actually really, really fucking damning. Anyway, uh, thank you so much. She added me on Skype, although it took only a minute of your time to send her my way. I appreciate the help. Oof, oh my God, dude. This motherfucker, this Chewy Flakes, has no fucking idea what the fuck they just did. Jesus Christ. Chewy Flakes, I hope wherever the fuck you are, you will never... I, I hope... Holy fuck, man. I don't even know what to say. I hope that you realize how big of a mistake you made. <laughs> yeah. 
I really, really realize, or I really hope that you realize how big of a mistake you fucking made. Because holy shit. Now, I'm sure you didn't do this as like, in like, if, if I were to guess, I don't think that you did this maliciously, but holy shit, you are not being a good friend. Okay. Never just randomly give your friends like personal information out, even character name, dude. Like, holy shit. A good friend does not do that. Jesus, man. Anyway. Do you have any interest in Asian women? I'm so a cat person and don't like Makote. Just kidding. I'm married. Oh, my. Holy fuck. By the way, House, is Car- House of Cards is an intriguing show for me, and you don't like any episodic shows such as Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead. I'm sorry to hear that you were bullied in middle school. Be strong. Good luck on your search. I hope you will find your soulmate. It's not like I, that I hate Makotes. I just don't like playing one before you get any wrong ideas. Thanks, friend. I really appreciate the kind words. Life was hard as a teen, but things are better now. I'm just trying to find my way in the world. About the show thing. Okay, whatever. Dude, I don't care about this shit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, Let it come naturally, not just rush into a relationship because you're lonely. To be honest, you might not get many girls this way. You're coming off as desperate. Then again, there are desperate girls out there, so who knows? Please keep us updated. I really want to know how this turns out. This did not turn out well. Holy fuck. I actually met someone of this thread. Her in-game name is Freya Ray. I don't know who the fuck that is. She didn't post here because she's shy, but she PM'd me in game telling me she thought she, she would be a good fit. We've been getting to know each other the past few days and things are going pretty well. We binge watched Soul Eater in a day. So now we've been watching Daredevil. She's not white. She's actually a black Hispanic mix. Also, she's not 19. She recently turned 33, but she's a pretty nice person. So I let it go. <laughs> Jesus, man. Jesus, dude. You are being trolled, man. (laughs) Is that true? Okay, dude. All right. If any detectives in the chat find out this is true, yeah, we need to know about this. We need to know. We need to know about this. Yo, Violet, thank you very much for the reset. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot, man. 67 months. If I had to guess, I would say Mizumi is right. Dude, how many fucking pages is this? Okay, we'll check a couple more pages. Uh, Edit, please ignore this post. Didn't realize said person wasn't interested. Okay. So if you're 19 and don't have a job already, why not? If you have no experience or idea what you would want to do career-wise, Uncle Sam wants you. Don't like direct combat? Then I can only recommend USAF or Navy. Navy, dude, you know what, man? Dude. I was going to say, like, imagine this guy in the fucking armed services, dude, but holy fuck. That's just a thought I don't want to actually have. Uh, depending... Wait. Uh, just an update. Howard and I have been planning our wedding. I love you, baby. Who is Freya Ray, bro? We need to find out who Freya Ray is. Oh, my Lord. I've never heard of Freya... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to inquire. I'm going to inquire who Freya Ray is. Yeah, I'm going to see. Now, granted, this was 10 years or nine years ago. Okay. Nine years ago. Uh, this shit is weird. <laughs> Okay. Hey, 
Very, 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 very weird man. Okay, one more. One more. You love cats, will but not marry a Makote. You, sir, are a hypocrite. Uh, Makote don't look like cats. They look like 32 chromosome Asians with a tail glued on their butt. Hey, you know what? Yo, now this is definitely him. Yeah, this is definitely him. Yo, this is not only definitely him, but uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that... Uh, this post is real. Yeah, this post is real. No, this is definitely real. Um, the guy is racist against us pretty people. We Makote are the best lovers. Lovers. How are you 19 yet 21 plus is too old for you? On top, you pretty much limit yourself to potentially choicing uh basing it off a character race they made and someone not overly attractive i have seen some dorky ass dudes with cheerleader captain hot women and vice versa so yo you know what man okay i'm one of the ugliest motherfuckers alive and but my character thirsty bia ooh, thirsty bia let me tell you about let me tell you about bia okay let me tell you about bia bia is the baddest bitch in all of Eorzea, okay? The baddest bitch. She, she eats and devours the souls of men. She will thrust her fucking claw into their chest and rip out their heart, their beating heart, and take a bite out of it, and then stick it back in, twist it. That's what she does. That's what she does. Mr. Vex. Worry bigger. Uh, it's been six pages and people are still falling for it. You guys think this is real? I'm starting to... Dude, I really think this is real. I really do. I really do. Th this is an amazing fucking thread. Holy shit, man. Whoever found this, dude, I'm going to ban you first. Then I'm going to gift you a sub. Then I'm going to VIP you. This is an amazing find. There's no way this isn't real. No way. Okay, yo, that was that was a very unexpected. That was very unexpected. Very hilarious. And then he gives Jack kisses, right, Malij? Oh, yeah. Here's the lodestone. I mean, the lodestone doesn't really. I mean, I don't know, like. People can change their name. People can change their character. Like, you know. Like, dude, you know what, man? Honestly, I would be interested in hearing this person's interaction with Lionel back then. Yo, you know what? Uh, yeah, I don't know if Freya even still plays the game or anything, but if this person has any interaction or any information that they would like to give me about Lionel, I would be very interested to hear that because this is fucking nuts. Wait, what is this? Wait, what is it? Oh, was this from... Wait, check the clip. Okay. Caught? Why is this on his recommended... Oh, yeah. Yeah, teach... No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Teaching sex ed. Yeah, I brought... Yeah, I brought this up too, I'm pretty sure. Teaching sex ed to a virgin. <laughs> this might be a song. All right, this might be a song. <laughs> but like... What is this on his recommended... Okay, that's just fitting. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a self-report. <laughs> dude, no way that's not a self-report, man. No fucking way, dude. I noticed this shit, too. I noticed this shit, too. So in his videos, he doesn't give a shit about, like, uh, like, look, man, you can see in his fucking tabs, dude. You can see in his fucking tabs. Here's Naomi's tabs. Uh... He, like, said that he doesn't, like, stalk Naomi, but he has two Naomi's tabs up. He also has this Angelese tab open, and I don't even want to know what these Imgers are. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Anyway. Yo, this is really fucking funny. This is really funny. All right. So, uh, eventually, we are going to play the game today. 
uh, eventually. But uh, there's some stuff we got to react to. Holy shit, man. Um, wait, what is this? Wait, what? Uh, wait, hold on. What? Wait, was this today? Was this today that he sent you that? No, it's not today. This looks old. Yeah, this looks really old because this is from his old channel. Daddy getting smoked, boy. Please pay attention to me. I'm so lonely. The, the funny thing is, is like, dude, you guys don't even, dude, you guys don't even need to see. You guys don't even need to see that he sent it. You can just tell that he sent it because he linked a picture. He types in all caps and then he linked another picture. He keeps calling me daddy. Like, that's so weird, man. That's so fucking weird. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's old. That was old. That was from his old YouTube. Yeah. Uh, wait, and what about the fact I can't play healer anymore because of your... You're not even a healer. You're a fucking red mage main. Blue, get the fuck out of here. You're Dude, that's lying. Oh, yeah, he sent you that a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you found this. Holy shit. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to re-VIP you. Holy fuck. What possessed you to find? Dude, this is like, this, this is one of the funniest finds I've ever seen in my life. What a pitiful little fucking bitch, man. Holy sh I like I've I've never seen something so pathetic. <laughs> well it's in the okay, let me rephrase let me let me rephrase. It's in the top ten. It's in the top ten of most pathetic things I've seen. Inflation. Okay. Well, we're gonna rack to stuff, guys. We're gonna fucking rack to shit. Uh. <sighs> okay. Holy shit, that was funny. Okay. Uh. Yeah. We gotta make that a bid. Lamau. All right. All right. Uh, wait, is Lilith gameplay on P7 Savage on that list, my lord? Oh, God. Oh, man. I remember. Okay. The thing is, man, I remember being like, Lilith, but I don't remember the actual, like, I don't remember what happened. Um, I do remember, I do remember the, the name though. Hmm. Some chatter said they knew him from COD. Oh, uh, yeah. I wanted to say, man, I've been getting a shit ton of messages from people. Uh, oh, this is the guy who found it. Ricardo. Oh, Ricardo found it. Ricardo found it? Who? Where's Ricardo? Rare spam. <laughs> Someone also posted in Arthur's chat too. Oh, so what I was saying, man, um, uh, oh, wait a minute. Huh. Uh, Um, oh, that looks pretty good, too. Oh, that's pretty sick, too. Oh, 
Yeah, let me think about this, Tess, and let me let me let me look into it. Oh, so what I was gonna say, guys, what I was gonna say is um uh oh just real quick here. Here's this funny thread. Uh here's a funny thread. Uh if anybody wants to check that out. Um there's like oh man, we got a lot of stuff to holy fuck, man. Okay. Do we have dude, this is like this is this is just like a never ending like IV drip of like content. We still have two more things. Like, cause I want to, I want to talk about this healer stuff too. Uh, and then at some point I would like to watch this. I, I guess we'll put this on the, we'll put this on the maybe for today. Uh, I would like to watch it. Um, yeah, I would like to watch it, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I do want to play the game a little bit today. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do like, I don't think I'm going to do any DSR, um, low chance I'll do top. I kind of just want to like fuck around and just talk to you guys and maybe just do some roulettes today. Uh, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be rating tomorrow, uh, zero out of five. I think we're going to try to finish up Shiva anyway, but that's later. Um, fuck me around. <laughs> Jesus. Why, why is it that every single fucking thing I say, man, you, you put mm -hmm behind it. Like. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you? What do you mean, why did I read it? I have to read it because you guys type it. Because if you guys type something and I don't fucking read it, then you guys bitch and complain and moan and cry that I don't fucking read it. <sighs> wait, he didn't say me. Oh, wait, fuck, what'd they say? <laughs> I didn't even read it right. Wait, what'd they say? <laughs> what'd they say? I didn't even read it right. Wait, what'd they say? Uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> pet, pet, he nut. Today I wanted to play healer, but the party kicked me because he because the tank was a warrior. I mean. That sucks, Blue. I'm sorry. Um, yo, yo, I'm I'm very sorry that I missed so many resubs, guys. Um, big apologies. Um, Eliza, thank you for the resub. Knox, uh, Delta, Safro, Zarat here with the new sub. Thank you guys for the resubs. I'm really sorry that I didn't see it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Classic, classic. Yeah, I know. There's a lot going on today, guys. And I did not, I did not expect that fucking forum post. Holy shit, that is that is fantastic. Okay, so. Uh, um, so we made it boys. We are on a news article. Okay. So we're going to check this out, but before let's, before we read the article, let's look at the forum post again. Now I already read this once, but I'll go ahead and just briefly go over it again. Um, okay. So there's apparently a healer strike. Okay. So there's a healer strike. Um, so here's the original uh, Dawn Trail Media Tour Dungeon was already cleared without healers. Okay. All right, now I'm going to tell you this, okay? I'm going to tell you this right now. For all you 54 fucks that thumbs down my fucking video, this is bullshit. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, I'm going to tell you why this is fucking horseshit. Because you can already do this, okay? You can... 55 now. It was me. 55 now. Shut the fuck up, man. Okay, you can already do this. This isn't anything new, okay? This isn't anything... I swear to God, if I refresh this and see 55, I'm going to lose my shit. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> I was really, <laughs> I was really thinking it would be 55, 61 now. Okay. So, so anyway, anyway, okay. Uh, so just to give you guys an idea. Okay. So when we went to the media tour, uh, me, whoops, Arthur's and Todd, we did a dungeon and I said, Hey, I want to do this on warrior so we can just do it without a healer because it's going to be really funny. Okay. I'll refresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh my God. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. Man, that's fucked up, man. Man, that's fucked up. Man, that's fucked up, dude. <laughs> 
Okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. All right. So we went to the media tour and we did, a <laughs> we, d- we did this. Now, now I was thinking to myself, okay? I was thinking to myself. I was like, man, I bet that for newer players or people that aren't like actually aware that you can do this, it's probably going to be very surprising, okay? So, um. Because, all right, so like when you come from a different game, right? So let's say, you know, let's say this is maybe your first MMO or you come from a different game. Your initial thought is probably not going to be, oh, hey, we don't need a healer for the dungeon. You know what I'm saying? Because typically you will need, you know, some type of healer or something for battle content, okay? Um, so those people that aren't really familiar with that type of shit. Okay, so I, I want to be perfectly clear here. Doing a dungeon without a healer on a warrior, it, it is not impressive. It is not challenging. The only thing you need to hit on warrior for the, mo- for the most part is literally blood wedding, okay? That's it. It's literally blood wedding, okay? So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is that anybody can do it, okay? Or virtually anybody. Okay, like I was able to do it while clicking my abilities. I didn't even have like when we first started the dungeon. I didn't even have my my uh, I didn't have decimate on my hot bar. Okay, yeah. So so basically, uh, I did this to try to like bait people into being like you know overly critical, like overly um, human sadness, Lionel. I disliked it. Well, you know what? I fucking dislike your fucking comic. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway. Um, what? This is so fucked, dude. You guys, dude, you guys, you guys are so fucked, dude. You guys are so stupid. Man, this is fucked. <laughs> you guys are so mean, man. Let this like it. Tell him to refresh. All right. Anyway. Okay. 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 All right. So let's just look at some of the comments first. We're not gonna. We're not gonna look at all of them, but just to give a little bit of context. Okay. So this is this is already happening in the game. To all the losers crying about Zeno clearing a dungeon without a healer, cry more. You probably have KM. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Amazing bald head, my lord. Thank you. This is literally disgusting. Why are healers needed? For if you can do this with low-level gear for the content, they should just bring back cleric stance if this was the direction they're, they're taking things. Okay, I mean, entirely, th- this is not false. Okay, this is kind of not false. Kind of. It's like 50-50. The drama his caused is so funny. Great work, Zeno. Lamau at this vid, starting a healer strike that is now 170 pages and counting. And also, of course, it was Zeno's. He literally made healers quit the game. They're going on strike. <laughs> so, okay, guys. Okay. So, guys, this has already been in the... This has been a thing since Shadowbringers. I mean, honestly, this has been a thing since Stormblood, Right? Probably even Heaven's Ward. I'm pretty sure Warrior has always been able to do this. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Warrior has always been able to do this, even in a Realm Reborn. Okay? So the fact that a Warrior can still do this, it's not really that crazy. Okay? It's just, the thing is, is like when you come from another game, or when you, um, you know, when you first start this MMO, it might seem a lot more crazy than it actually is, but it's really not that crazy. Okay. So like, like I'm going to tell you guys this, if there's anybody in chat that hasn't tried to do this or that is interested in doing this, I promise you just go in there with three friends, go on warrior and just every pull use blood wedding. You will, you will do exactly the same thing I did. It's not, it's not that crazy. You will be able to do it. I promise you. Okay. And if you die, it's okay. (laughs) It's okay. By the time you die, if you even die, everything's going to be dead and the DPS are just going to kill the rest, okay? So, you think I have three friends? (sighs) Feels bad. (laughs) Can be my friend. Yo, Snark, thank you for the resub. 
War Heights, thank you for the resub, man. Snark, 27 months. War Heights, massive, 86 months. SD with the 21 months. Kanine with the 82 months. Massive resub, brother. Eliza, thank you for the three months. Um, okay, so anyway, so so this is the video. These are the type of comments, okay? Uh, you know. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Been playing since Stormblood, and this is the first expansion I've considered not buying. Of course, I still pre-ordered like the brainless sheeps that I am, and I'm still paid for the privilege of Square Enix running the game to the ground. <laughs> Healers are, I mean, look, look, dude, this is me, man. This is me. I relate to this because I'm going to buy every single expansion and every, dude, this is, this is me right here. Okay. All right. I can't even like, I can't even shit on this guy for this because this is literally me. Uh, if they ever nerf blood wedding, it will be a cold day in hell. Um, okay. So hopefully, man, hopefully I brought some humor to the 14 community because like, honestly, okay, we're, we're man. Uh, okay. Typically the type of drama that I like to cover is not serious type of drama. Like with, you know, desolence, Lionel, that type of stuff, that type of stuff is like criminal level. It's like actually like psychotic behavior. I don't like to cover that kind of stuff, but you know, obviously for what happened, I'm going to, and I'm going to continue to do so. However, typically the normal stuff that I like to cover is drama like this. This is kind of the drama I like to cover because it brings it because I really believe that it makes people laugh. And that's, that's one of my, that's, one of the things I enjoy most is being able to make people laugh. So hopefully this brought you a little humor because I thought that this was fucking hilarious that so many people were upset at this. Um, but anyway, anyway, so, uh, so this was the original post, not a fan of this guy in particular, but I think it's pretty sad. We're still here in the same boat again. Okay. So this is, this is okay. I am beyond livid, not a fan of this guy in particular. Okay. Why? Why? What is it about me as a person? Is it because I'm bald? Is it because I'm loud? Is it because you think I'm mean? I want to know. I want to know what it is that not a fan of this guy in particular. You know, I want to know exactly what the fuck it is because I bet whatever the fuck it is, is a dumb reason. Okay. Anyway, uh, Healer Strike, I would like to make this official thread for those in support of Healer Strike as a collective voice to the dev team to express the dissatisfaction with the continued direction the game has gone concerning Healer gameplay and what it has uh, arrived consensus that has deemed to be a negligence towards the role as well as the players who main it. Um, I would like to note that this thread is not to attack or in any way intend to be offensive towards any member of the dev team, director, producer, uh, Yoshi P, uh, Square Enix, or any of its affiliates. Uh, I'm going to make a confession. Whenever someone mentions Yoshi P, but they type, his, they type his whole name out, I never say the first word because every time I say it, I get it wrong. <laughs> Every time I say it, I get it wrong. Okay, so. <laughs> so I don't. The purpose of the healer strike of this thread is to garner support for necessary changes and adjustments to be made in order to once again validate its place in content that requires grouping and an equal contributed uh, or contributed effort among all members of the group in order to facilitate clears within Final Fantasy XIV. Please use this thread to voice your concerns, express your feelings in a constructive manner, point out issues, make suggestions, and to add your name to those who will be striking. The strike entails that players will not be participating in group content as any of the four available jobs to the healer role. It is understandable that they are likely... Uh, active statics that are still working on in-walker content and healer maids in general who would like to finish out the current expansion. In fairness, I would like to give those healers who wish to participate a grace period before the strike is official. Please provide your feedback as to the conditions to end the strike and the date it should begin. I am thinking the strike will be officially underway when Dawn Trail launches on Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024. I appreciate your time, fellow adventurers. Let our voices and our hearts be heard. Uh, so my issue with this is if they're fine, uh, like I actually don't care if people are going on strike, people are free to do whatever, the, you know, well, Okay, within reason, they're free to do whatever the fuck they want to do. I'm not going to make fun of somebody or anything like that. I do think it's funny, but if that's how they want to choose their, if that's how they choose to spend their time, then it's whatever, it's harmless, I don't really care. However, I will say this, I said this last time, um... I think that this is an extremely bad time to start doing it. You, you would not want to do this on July 2nd. 
Okay. You would not want to do this on July 2nd. You would want to do this like now instead of July 2nd, because I now correct me if I'm wrong, but I am pretty sure that 99.9% of people are not going to do this because it is new content and they want to play their fucking job. (laughs) Uh, So if, I guess if they're going to strike, in my opinion, the strike would be more effective at a time like this when people no longer care. They don't give a shit. Like basically, you, you have a time now where let's say you actually do care a little bit and you're just like, well, fuck it. I just won't play healer. Maybe make healer cues go up by literally one second, uh, you know, which is like not really effective at all. Maybe I'll just do it now because when the expansion drops, I don't give a shit about any of this crap because the fact of the matter is this is how the job is designed. This is how the job will play in the first raid tier and probably the first ultimate. So regardless of what I think, I will have to play the fucking job. It doesn't matter. So going on a strike when the fucking expansion releases is really stupid considering the fact that you are going to have to play that job in Savage Content. They are not this strike. It's going to like solve absolutely nothing. They're not going to redesign healers because of this shit right here. Are you fucking crazy? Like these people have unrealistic expectations. Okay. And another thing is this. Yeah, that that's, that's another good point. How many people in here, uh, prefer not to play healer, but, but when it comes down to it and you don't want to wait longer than five seconds for a queue, you just say, fuck it. I'm going to play a healer and you get an insta queue because that's me right here. That's me. If I don't want to wait more than five seconds for a queue, I will play a healer just to fucking do my shit. That's me. Um, so, and I don't give a shit about any of this crap, you know? Anyway. Um, uh, so anyway, so that's me. I think the strike should happen now, not on July 2nd. Uh, anyway, so petition for healer strike. Okay, just out of curiosity, what is this person's, um, just out of curiosity, and I'm not trying to like flame them or shit on them or anything like that. What is this person's experience with the game? Like, do they, like, do they actually do the content that they're striking against? They have not cleared a single savage. Okay. Okay. No savage. Um, well, the thing is, is I don't want to assume. Okay, so basically, I feel like that if this person, okay, so this, this, this person's post and mentality will probably come from ignorance um because you definitely need a healer in ultimates you definitely need a healer in savage yes savage and ultimates have been cleared without a healer but those are in extreme conditions and it's not something that you can like base any type of realistic data off of if that makes any sense okay so what i'm saying is is if this person were to actually do any of the content that he's saying you don't need a healer for he would find or they would find out that you do in fact do need a healer and they probably would not be as upset uh i think that they have an unrealistic expectation of the content that they do and per, and perhaps their skill level because if you were to take If you were to force healers to have a dungeon, I would be hesitant to believe that this person that doesn't do anything but dungeons would be able to actually clear a dungeon. And the reason why I say that is because in the past, there have been dungeons that have literally been too hard. So for those of you that have that have not played the game for very long, um, they they have literally had to nerf dungeons in the past. So a really good example, uh, I'll do a more recent one that you guys are probably more familiar with is The Burn. Uh, the Burn was insanely intense for a dungeon. Um, it was very hard and it was not very well received. Was it hard? At first, I didn't fucking believe that it was, but apparently it was. Um, Yes, the Mist Dragon shit on kids. Okay. Well, Mount Gold first poll, you can't really really count that because you're not forced to do the entire poll. 
Uh, yeah, so you can't really uh, count that. However, um, so yeah, so so so, um, Blue Cloud mentioned Pharaoh Sirius. For those of you that don't know, holy shit, that first boss of Pharaoh Sirius, it's the guy, and I don't know if it's the same, but it was the boss, it's like a zombie and he summons dogs and shit. Pharaoh Sirius absolutely fucking shit on kids. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was so bad. Uh, it was so bad that if you got it in the roulette, you would just have people leave right from the start. I'm not even kidding. I am not even joking. For those of you that played that played the game back then, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? That guy's fucking hard. So anyway. Um, anyway, yeah. I believe... Wasn't the Burn and Pharaoh Sirius both nerfed? Weren't they both nerfed? I'm pretty sure they were. Um, yeah. So in the past, now, that, now there's now there's been other examples too. Like people mentioned uh, uh, M Dapper Keep, or sorry, uh, M Dapper, however the fuck you say it. Uh, there was uh, M Dapper Keep. There was a couple other ones mentioned throughout. Um, so there have been dungeons where a boss or a particular section of the dungeon was challenging. Um, yeah, anyway. So, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, self-sustain and healing abilities given to other roles, the choice direction to give uh, such abilities to roles outside of healer encroaches on the role. Oversimplified DPS rotation. Every job in 14 has a filler GCD that they press when there are no other requirements. No role in the game pushes the skill more than healer, not by a long shot. Our offensive capability should still feel dynamic and rewarding. Yes, we are healers, but we also, uh, but we are also casters. Homogenization of healer jobs. There's no individuality across the jobs in the healer role to give them a sense of identity. Uh, seraphism mode change in angelic opposed to fey. Excessive off GCD heals. These are not only abundant but exceptionally powerful. There, this is in addition to self sustain on other roles, reduces the dynamic of healing uh, comrades. Lack of threat level in nearly all forms of content. Healers should feel like they have a place in all forms of content. It is understandable that difficult, that difficulty can be so great as to bar progression of story based content. However, in, innovative means should still be employed to make great greater full use of abilities. Um, so the thing here, man, is um, this person is basically speaking from a mentality that they don't know, they don't understand. If this person truly has never done Savage or uh, Ultimate, let alone Savage, then they really have no means to speak on a vast majority of the shit here. Uh, because you definitely need a healer in Savage and you definitely need a healer in Ultimate. So uh, saying that you don't is, is just, it's just flat out wrong. Okay. Um, so, but that's not to say that this person, this person doesn't have points, right? Like an over, an oversimplified DPS rotation, spamming one button isn't really fun. That's why I would never want to main healer, uh, or like, that's why I can only play healer, uh, like sparingly is because I don't want to spam the same button over and over again. But the thing is, is like, um, <laughs> Uh, how do I want to word this saying, um, okay. Some people are saying that the design of healer is bad. Um, and I disagree with that. Uh, I think that the, de that the design of healer is actually very good. Uh, the direction that they are taking healers is bad. And there is, there is a clear distinction here. And the reason why there's a clear distinction is because design-wise, they are insane, okay? They are easy as fuck, and you have a ridiculous amount of off-GCDs and power from a, sim from, from a single kit. Like, how it is designed is actually strong as fuck and amazing, <laughs> actually. However... That doesn't mean that the direction is good. Does that make sense? Like basically for the amount of work that you put into, healers do a crazy amount of damage and you have a shit ton of like safety buttons and other features. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
So the actual design, like how the healers are designed, they're actually designed very well because they're extremely effective and they're extremely easy to play. That is very good. However, the direction that they're going, which is different than if the job works or not, okay? The direction that they're going is, is now that is up for debate. Some people like it, some people hate it, okay? Um, I think that if you like it, that's a fine opinion. And I think that if you don't like it, that's also a, a fine opinion. I'm actually on both sides here. Um, there's upsides to the way that healers are currently designed, but there's also downsides. Uh, you're not going to have, you're not going to always win. Okay. So like, uh, design wise, it is, they're very strong. <laughs> They are very strong design-wise, and they're very easy to play. Um, but if you are not a fan of that, like the direction, uh, I can understand that. Because me personally, I don't like the fact that you only spam one button. Um, so, Well, you know what I mean. Like, yes, they have other off-GCDs and other ways to deal damage, but they're very few and far in between, okay? Um so, like, for those of you that didn't play back in Stormblood and, you know, Heaven's Ward or Realm Reborn, healers had to work, like, three to four twice as hard to deal way less damage. So, basically, you had, you had like, like four extra DPS abilities. You, you had an actual rotation. Um, and, well... You had like dots you had to manage. You had less off GCDs. You had basically you had more shit that you had to manage DPS wise. You also had cleric stance, which which added a whole other level of um of intricacy to the job. Okay. Yeah, so a good example of this is Scholar. It had like, let's see, what all did Scholar had? It had bro uh not Broil, but it had Ruin 2, I believe. Um that was the that was that was just the normal GCD. You had like bio, bio one, bio. Yeah, you had bio one, bio two, uh, miasma, shadow flare. Right there's five. Um, and then as white mage, you had um, arrow. You had stone. Uh, I think you had like two other things. You had arrow and then arrow three. Yeah, you had, yeah. So basically my point here, yeah, you used to have, yeah, you used to have um, Shadow Flare as well, yeah. But the thing is, is like Cleric Stance added an entirely new, um, I guess, dynamic to the job because you had to be in Cleric Stance to deal damage, but while you were in Cleric Stance, you couldn't heal. So if you were in Cleric Stance trying to heal, then you would heal for like literally 2 HP. Yes, and that's the point. People back then complained that DPSing as a healer was too hard. Like, people have to understand that the reason why the healers are the way they are is because of us. It's because of us. It's not the devs. The devs are listening to us. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. That's the thing that people don't understand. <laughs> it's because the dev's original design was way different, way harder than what it is now. But we, but we as a collective, as a community, <laughs> my blankie, I remember you brought me the blankie, but I had my one eye open and I wasn't asleep. And well, just change the healer, make it easier. Okay. So what did they do? They made it easier. Okay? They made the fucking healers easier. And what happened? Now people are bitching that they're too easy. It's like, we, we basically, we did this. We did this to ourselves. Okay? So, we are the ones to blame. Okay? So if you're ever like, man, fuck these devs. No. No, fuck you, fuck you, because you're the reason they're like this. Uh, 
Yeah, so back in the day, uh, yeah, they were much harder. Basically, back in the day. Mm-hmm, fuck me. Jesus fucking get the. Oh, dude. Anyway, so uh, so back in the day, healers did healers did like three, four times the work for half the damage that they do today. Uh, just keep that in mind. That DPSing and healing as a healer was way harder back in the day. You had like one or two off GCDs at most to to heal, and most of your heals came from from GCDs. Okay, that's why cleric stance was a thing. That's why they were able to have um, because cleric stance was an off GCD that you would activate. Cleric stance wouldn't work today. There'd be no fucking way. There'd be no fucking way that a healer could turn on cleric stance, throw out a couple DPS spells, turn off cleric stance to cat to to do an off GCD just to turn it right back on. No, 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 dude. That would be the most clunky fucking garbage that we would ever fucking have, man. That would be so fucking bad. Okay. Anyway, uh, so uh, we can look at a couple of these, man, you know. So uh, let's see. Nah, so at one point, Cleric Stance was, uh, Cleric Stance was, they tried to keep it in the game and it was just like a 5% DPS increase. It was literally not even worth having in the game. That's what they changed it to until they finally got rid of it. Um. Uh, Strummer, strummer, the kisses were the critical. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Cleric Stance has always been an off GCD, if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure it has been. I'm pretty sure it was always an off GCD. Uh, I can't remember. On a, yeah. Oh, was a GCD? Okay, so cleric was a GCD. So yeah, so you would you Oh, that's right. Wait a minute. To turn it off, you had to turn it off. So when you turned it off, I think it was a Okay, okay. So basically cleric stance when you turned it on, when you activated it, you were locked into it for 5 seconds. You could not turn it off for 5 seconds. So let's say that you turned it on and a heal needed to be given. You couldn't do it. You couldn't give that heal. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But back then you healed way more on off GCDs. So it kind of worked. You know what I mean? Like it kind of worked. Yo, you remember when, um, you remember when lustrate used to be percentage based. So even if you had cleric stance on, you could still heal. Yeah. That was nerfed by the way. That was nerfed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. Okay, anyway, um, let's see. So we'll just take a look at some of this. Same feedback's always been ignored. Uh, I won't be touching healers for Dawn Trail. Okay, I already removed auto payment and it's going to let my house just expire. Ooh, okay, so a house is opening up, guys. A house is opening up on Famfret. Okay, so be be waiting for that. This person's house, there's going to be a free house in Famfret. Everybody watch that shit. Uh, some poor DPS can have the plot because they are... Go- <laughs> Dude, that's so stupid. Some poor DPS could have the plot. Like, why are they gonna they are going to need something to do with that queue time? <laughs> so salty. Holy shit, dude. So salty. Oh my. Healers have had several threads with hundreds of pages. Okay. Uh, I support the idea, but given their direction and the apparent addition of AoE heal heals to the DPS class. Increased self-healing for tanks. I am unsure whether they would be any meaningful changes to the healing class. All right, I'm just going to tell you this right now, guys. I'm going to tell you this right now. This happens all the fucking time. Uh, Or, well, this is brought up all the fucking time. People always complain about how, like, how easy the jobs are. They complain about how easy the jobs are. They also complain about how easy healing is, all this shit. They complain, oh, this is so easy, this is so easy, this is so easy. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that you do not, you do not want Square Enix to make things hard. You don't. Because when Square Enix makes things hard, um, I'll tell you what happens. The raid scene dies. The game becomes so hard that no one wants to play. 
Yes. And this has literally happened. Okay. This has literally happened in the fucking past because people complain in a realm reborn that the raids were too easy. So what did they do? They came out with Gordius. They came out with Gordius with DPS checks. They had extremely like intricate ro rotations for the jobs. It was extremely punishing. And you know what happened? Fucking a shit ton of people fucking quit playing the game. The shit was too fucking hard. The jobs were too hard. Blah, 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 blah. Everything was just way too fucking hard, man. You do not want Square Enix to make things difficult. You don't. You think you do, but you don't, man. Um, uh, yo, uh, Zama, thank you for the, thank you very much for the donation. Thank you very much for the donation, man. <clears throat> Um, yes, there has to be a middle ground, and I believe that middle ground is Stormblood. Uh, what we have currently, I think, is a bit too imbalanced. I think that the raids, they have too many body checks, and the DPS, and the rotations of jobs are not hard enough. I think that they need to lower the body checks just a little bit, just a little bit, and they need to up the uh, difficulty of the jobs themselves. I am a firm believer that being able to play your job should be a part of the difficulty. I think that whenever you go into raid, playing your job to the best of your ability should be a part of the difficulty. I think that um, going into a raid and having a brain dead job with a bunch of body check mechanics is really fucking obnoxious. I think it's very fucking obnoxious uh, from a person that has, um, you know, got very like myself, I'm extremely comfortable on tanks and other roles. Uh, and when you achieve that level of comfort, which a majority of you, if not all of you in the chat have already reached, it's very fucking obnoxious when they put so many fucking body checks into a savage fight, right? It's savage. This is not ultimate. Keep this in mind. Savage is like mid core. Okay. Pretty much everybody should be able to do savage. It is very, very obnoxious when they put so many fucking body checks in there and there's like one or two people that just constantly fuck it up all the time. So not only are they not playing their job right, but they're also fucking killing everybody. Okay. And it's really annoying when you have so many body checks in a fucking raid. That is not fun. You should be able to recover. You should be able to carry people through to a certain extent for savage for ultimate. If they want to do that for ultimate, that's fine. That's fine. I have like, I have my own opinions on ultimate. Um, I am a fan of, you know, I think the perfect fight in the game is DSR. Um, I, I hope that they never do anything like top again. We'll see. Uh, but I can't really say that about an ultimate because it is supposed to be an ultimate. So if they do that in ultimate, I can't bitch. Uh, I can just say that it's not fun, but that's subjective because my version of fun is going to be different from yours. However, in a savage, I can say that because savage is not supposed to be ultimate. It's supposed to be a step down. And that step down, I think of having too many body checks is just too much. It's also really fucking frustrating, really fucking obnoxious when you have this one motherfucker that can't do caloric, right? Caloric is probably the worst mechanic that they've ever fucking come up with. And I hope to fucking God that they never come up with another caloric because Jesus fucking Christ. Like if you look at the, the raids in this expansion versus the raids in like, uh, you know, like shadow bringers. Okay. What does body check mean? It means that all eight players must complete the mechanic correctly or you wipe. That is a body check. Now having one or two body checks in a raid tier is fine. You know, especially on the final turn, that's fine. That's acceptable. It's understandable, but having every single fucking mechanic, a body check is obnoxious. Very annoying. Anyway, anyway, <clears throat> Uh, for the most part, uh, for most of the time, uh, playing this game, I thought I was alone in thinking that healer gameplay was a little brain dead for lack of a better word. And the vast majority of content, pretty much all dungeons boiled down to casting your AOE shield, uh, spamming your one attack for a situation and repeating. The only thing making them exciting while loving is the prospect of getting new toys as you progress. Once you hit max level, the, the appeal quickly fades. I've been a healer support main in pretty much every MMO I played in 14 probably has the worst overall experience of them. Uh, either our kit. So while I agree with this person, I also say that this is subjective. Um, my worst healing experience was not 14. I'm not saying this person is wrong. I'm not saying that they don't have any points. I'm just saying that, uh, from my experience, it hasn't been the worst, but it, but, <laughs> but it, it's really fucking boring, man. It's really fucking boring. Uh, e either our kit is too strong for 
healing to be interesting. The sustain of other classes is too strong for healing to matter, or our DPS rotation is too one note for healers to have any... Compl this is actually a really good post. Uh, to have any complexity outside of simply healing, whether it be one of or a combination of all three reasons, the result is a, ro is a role that is borderline unplayable, dull, and certainly not fun or engaging in any in nearly any situation. And to think, I just finished leveling all the healers for 90 for Dawn Trail, or at least... Uh, oh, well, at least I leveled the tanks too. Okay, uh, so this is the this is the thread. So let's look at this. Let's let's look at this. This is funny. Uh, I I don't think I've ever been featured in an article before. Uh, this is the first article, I believe. Well, see, you know what's weird, man? Is actually, um, I have actually been featured a lot on the Japanese forums and the Chinese forums. Uh, over, okay, so across the seas, I am referred to as the brown beard or overseas uncle, as well as Kumachama. Um, yeah, so uh, it's, it's just kind of funny that I've actually been featured like, like um, especially my, especially back in Heaven's Ward. Um, I'm pretty sure the first time I was featured on one of their articles or anything like that, or on their forums was when I soloed Titan Extreme and this was in Heaven's Ward. This is when the, the, the expansion first came out uh, and it kind of like blew up. Um, it's actually what started my, what kind of got my like YouTube and Twitch, like kind of in overdrive for the time for the time because no one had ever done it. And it was like insanely impressive at the time. Now I know it doesn't matter anymore and that's fine. Uh, but I was like, that's one of the things in the game that like, even though it kind of sounds stupid, I was really proud of that <laughs> actually. Uh, anyway, so final fantasy 14 healers are going on strike over Dawn trail changes final fantasy 14. Dude, look at the look at this thumbnail, man. Why is there little zames in there, man? <laughs> Chills. Little zames. Big like, dude, what if it like, okay, okay, okay. I'm just trying to think, I'm just trying to think, right, of people that have never even heard of me before. And they see this fucking, they see this baby doll head. <laughs> There's no way that someone that has never, like, they, they don't know the lore on Lil Zeems, right? They're probably thinking to themselves, what in the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Is there anybody in chat that has no idea about this baby head? What did you think about this? What did you think about Lil Zames? Did anybody think that was weird? <laughs> baby head, he yes, this is Lil Zames. This is Lil Zames, big dreams, okay? Still think it's weird. Huh. Still think it's weird? I still think you're fucking banned. You should change your name from uh, from Mr. Mendo to Mr. Band because that's what you are. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking weird. It's not weird. This is a little Zames, bro. This is a little Zames. You know he's got big dreams. You know he's got big dreams. All right, anyway. Okay. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 healers have decided that they finally had enough organizing a strike to take place on the day of Dawn Trail's release over other roles, getting more healing options. They are simplified DPS rotation and lack of challenge across all content. Final Fantasy 14's upcoming Dawn Trail expansion is launching pretty soon, bringing with it a new race an increased level cap, two new jobs and a bunch of new abilities for all existing jobs. For most people, it's a pretty exciting time to be Final Fantasy 14 player, but there is a section of the game's community that is feeling that they've once again been overlooked as healer mains are going on strike upon the release of Dawn Trail. Okay. While healers have been rather dissatisfied with their role, 
for quite some time. Their disappointment hit new levels after a popular Final Fantasy XIV content creator, Zenosis Vex, uploaded a video, which you can find above, of himself clearing the first dungeon of Dawn Trail with no healer during the game's recent media tour. Yo, you know what I should have done? I should have just fucking soloed the whole thing because I could have. Okay, that's what I should have fucking done. I, I, I should have spent like 45 minutes just soloing this fucking thing. All right, and uploaded that motherfucker, you know? The video sparked outrage um, from the healer community on the Final Fantasy XIV forums, which has now blossomed into a full-scale strike. Final Fantasy XIV players are going on strike over Dawn, Tra Dawn Trail changes. Dude, I, this is just so funny to me because I'm sitting there at the media tour and I'm like, yo, we should do this without a healer because it might upset some people. <laughs> like... You could ask Arthur's Todd and whoops, dude. I fucking told him. I was like, dude, you guys, we got to do the dungeon, but nobody go as healer. It was so funny. Oh, for those of you that don't know, I mentioned this earlier for those of you that don't know, but something really fucking funny that happened to whoops. Uh, so, so we all, uh, we all stayed in the same hotel. Okay. Um, and his hotel number was six one one. <laughs> his hotel number was 611 dude holy shit it was so funny it was so funny yeah he was like dude my fuck <laughs> was like dude my hotel number 61 it was like my room number is 611 yeah it was so funny anyway okay final fantasy 14 players are going on strike over Don Trail changes uh, one day one day later a player called uh, Jamina created a thread for those in support of a healer strike to make their voices heard. In the post, Jamina lists the manifesto on behalf of the game's healer community of changes they want to see in future content. One of the prime concerns is the amount of self-sustaining uh, self and healing abilities given to other roles, particularly the tank job, as they feel it encroaches on the role of a healer if other players are keeping their health topped up. Hello, Warrior Mains. Okay, so just real quick, I want to say that the game is not balanced around dungeons, okay? The game is typically balanced around, like, Savage and Ultimate. Um, like, they don't care. Like, basically, they don't care if you can clear a dungeon with... Like, you can literally clear a dungeon with any comp, okay? You can literally clear a dungeon with any comp, all right? So... They don't give a sh like they don't balance the game around dungeons. So this right here is like, I feel like it's a mentality that people need to understand. It's an expectation that people just need to have is that if content in the game is easy, it's because they don't balance shit around it. Okay. Yeah. And it should never be balanced around dungeons because that's not where that's like, dude. Okay. Real talk here. Does anybody in this fucking chat even give a shit that you can clear a dungeon with any fucking comp? <laughs> Does anybody actually care if you can solo a dungeon? Like, nobody cares. Like, you typically will just... You'll do dungeons for, like, multiple reasons. But for me personally, some of the top reasons I do, like, roulettes and stuff, is just one, it, like... I do them with friends, and I do them with you guys, Right? Like, I don't actually care how we clear. You know what I mean? I'm doing it because I want to just hang out with you guys. It's more for like, it's more for like background stuff. You know what I mean? It's more like that we can come together and just hang out while something is going on in the background. And that something happens to be like a dungeon or a trial or some shit like, you know, like an older trial or some shit like that. You know what I mean? They're never going to balance shit around that. Now, I don't know if other people share that same mentality, but I'm pretty sure a vast majority of people do not go into the, do not have the mentality is, oh, this dungeon is super serious. I'm going to have to have my full focus on this fucking dungeon. Uh, another big issue players have is the oversimplification of the healer's DPS rotation. Uh, this is a good and valid point as the role is infamously dull when things aren't going wrong. This is true. Since healers are supposed to be focused on healing, there isn't much flair in their damage rotation. And since players keep being given more tools to keep their own health topped up, it means healers are stuck doing repetitive rotations, often spamming one or two spells. I will say that this is, that this is definitely... It, this is definitely applicable for dungeons, but in like early savage, you know, uh, I don't think this is applicable. Um, a vast majority of people are going to be def are going to definitely rely on healers. 
Uh, now, as far as the spamming the one button, that is true in like pretty much all levels of, of like content difficulty. Uh, because I mean, that's, that's all you do. Um, but anyway, um, I, I guess what I'm trying to point out here is that you can say like, basically you can say that the healer DPS rotation is dull because it is, I do agree with you, but you cannot say that they are like invalidated in savage and ultimate content, uh, for a vast majority of players, a vast majority of players will do savage with two healers. They will also do ultimate with two healers. Okay. You, you will never there. You will never see a normal party finder up without two healers. You will never see a normal party finder up without like two healers for an ultimate. Okay. Oh, six K. Okay. Uh, Oh, here, here. Okay, that should be better, right? Oh my god. Holy fuck. Dude, Todd is going in, bro. What the fuck? Holy shit, what is this? You know if you're feeling saucy, don't talk like that in real life or that Twitter stroke brain showing itself. It fascinates me how hilariously uninteresting people like you are tweeting about me won't add more years at least i'm not a lonely rejected sad little hobbit of a man unloved untouched and owes their favorite strummer twenty three thousand dollars god damn judge isn't gonna like the fact that you're not out looking for a job drooling over the keyboard on socials doesn't pay well when's that court date holy mother of god dude Holy shit. <laughs> That's insane, bro. Oh my god. Fucking insane. Okay, anyway, anyway, sorry. 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 Yeah, he's free he's Lionel's freaking out over socials because I I told him that his, that the only friend he thought he had in the world actually is uh, against him and finds him disgusting. So that's really funny. That's how he uh, he you know he has all this rage uh, built up and um, you know he has to accept the fact that he has no friends. Anyway, uh, anyway, yeah, sorry, I saw that and I uh, <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Um, okay. Anyway, so there are more issues. The post goes through, including job homogenization and lack of difficulty across casual content, something which Yoshi P has addressed in the past. The post has managed to gather hundreds of comments to support from other frustrated healers. And a strike is now planned to take place on Dawn trails release on July 2nd. During that time, players will not be participating in group content as healers. So depending on how much traction this mo movement picks up you might find healers less are uh, sorely lacking when Dontro drops hmm. okay so like real talk is there anybody going to be participating in this i mean hey man if you are that's fine I don't think you're stupid. I actually don't think that you're stupid for participating in this. I just don't think it's going to go anywhere. Like, I think that if you really hate the healing job, then yeah, fuck it. But I just, it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> you're, you're participating in this blue. Okay. All right. All right. But you don't main healer. You don't main healer. Wait, Japanese healer or Japanese opinion on healer strike? Oh, okay. Uh, let me, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I need to use the bathroom real quick, man. Uh, sorry, I got to pee. I got to pee real quick.
Okay. I thought you were a blue mage main. Or, I mean, a, um, a red mage main. Yo, Ash, thank you for the resub. Uh, sorry I missed the resubs, guys. Um, Ash, thank you for the resub. K Bells, uh, Drancy, uh, Boris, excuse me, uh, Dungeon Boy, uh, Renji, thank you guys for the resubs. You left a few more replies on Twitter. Dude, I would have, dude, I'm going to like report that account, man. It's just going to be obnoxious when he has to make a new one. Like, I mean, the thing is, is like, he'll always like that, that comment you made is like so fucking funny, dude. Um, all this fucking guy does, dude, this is crazy. He doesn't post anything. This is insane. He just replies. holy shit fucking funny man um wait a minute when the fuck was my uh oh what is this dude this is nice okay um oh let me read this real quick sorry Hello, I'm from the Japanese community. I use a translation tool, so sorry if my English is poor. There was a post in the uh, Japan forum informing me about this thread, and I learned of this shocking move. First of all, I would like to state that there are many personal thoughts and not the consensus of the Jap... Oh, okay, not the consensus of the Japanese community. I'm sorry that I may not be able to reply very often, as I really need to use a translation tool to communicate with you. Regarding the issue of healers, attack rotation being too monotonous, Japanese players' reaction is quite different from yours. Almost no one has a problem with the attack rotation. I don't know what they think differently than you do, but one opinion I sometimes see is if you want to attack, just play DPS. Okay. I don't recall seeing a more specific discussion in the Japanese forum than, the, than this opinion. I mean, I agree and disagree. I try my best to see things from both, both perspectives. Like, I try to... Uh, I try to put myself in the shoes of players of players of like different opinions. Right. Um, so I, I agree, but I also disagree a little bit too. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is like, typically my opinion on this type of stuff is neutral. Uh, I try my best to separate my personal opinion, but anyway, uh, regarding, uh, regarding the issue. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Unfortunately, your opinion will not be accepted in the Japanese forum, but I am not going to disagree with you guys. I usually play mainly as a healer in Extreme and Savage, but I also play as a DPS or tank if I want something different and exciting. Uh, when pointed out to me, I have a feeling that this, when I want a different excitement, may stem from the fact that the healer's attacks are too simple, and I feel it when I get tired of them. However, I myself do not see the need to change anything about the attack spells. I may need some more time to think about it. For now, I will be very curious about the difference in opinion between Japanese and English communities and will keep an eye on what happens in the future. Thank you. Okay, so this is really cool. This is really cool hearing, like, I guess from their, uh, from the Japanese, like, I guess, forum site or whatever, you know? Um, I, okay, so... I kind of sympathize on both on both sides, right? Wasn't there a um, wasn't there a post saying wasn't there a post saying uh, like there was like an interview with Yoshi P or something, and he was saying like there's going to be major changes in like seven point two or some shit. Can anyone link that? Did anyone happen to see that? Uh, but anyway, going back to this real quick. Uh, so me personally, like I mentioned earlier, um, me personally. I think that the design of a healer is actually very good. It is very strong. It is easy and it is very effective, which means that the design is good. Like it's effectiveness. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, yeah, I'm so sure this is it. Yeah, I'm so sure. I'm s yeah, I'm so sure. Free redeem free redeem uh 
Oh, this is it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we'll look at this in a second. Yeah, we'll look at this afterwards. Um, what do you mean, say the line? What line? Um... I don't know what line. I, I don't know. A lot of yapping and not a lot happening. Shut the fuck up, dude. That's so, that's so stupid that that fucking rhymed a little bit. Get the fuck out of here. Not a lot of yapping, not a lot of happening. Shut the fuck up. Jesus, what did you, what did you Google? Yo, what word raps with yap? Jesus, fuck. Holy fuck fuck man it's like it's like the tone of that is like that is like a fucking um uh newman from jurassic park where he's like uh 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 you didn't say the magic word a lot of yapping not a lot of happening that's like the tone that i heard in my head when he fucking said that so dumb Anyway, like, I don't even know. Oh, yeah. So anyway, um, me, I think the design of a healer is pretty good in the sense of effectiveness. But I think the direction of it is kind of bad. Um, I just really feel like that the devs mentality is if you get bo because you're one character, they're really, really, really adamant about your one character being able to play every role because they're using that as a reason for the way things are designed. Right. At least that's what I get. That's the feeling I get. So whenever they're like, no, the healers aren't boring. If you get bored, just play another role because I mean, technically they're right. They are right. Does that mean that we can't want more from a certain role? No, no, not at all. But I'm just saying from, I'm trying to like put myself in their perspective, okay? Um, from their perspective, that's probably their mindset is like, okay, well, if you just get bored of one character, you just have another character, just switch to, or not character, but role, just switch because your one character can play every role. So like, I really think that they're trying to crutch on that a bit too hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean... I would love if there was some type of like, I'm hesitant to say skill tree system. Okay. Because at the end of the day, skill trees are an illusion of choice. However, um, the illusion can be helpful. So what I mean is it's like the, the illusion can be helpful in the sense that it doesn't, it's not just flat out dull, right? There's always things to at least think about, even if it's like suboptimal or maybe some weird situation where let's say that let's say you had a skill tree. Okay. Just for example, now I'm not saying this is a perfect solution. I, I, I'm, I'm just purely giving the, I'm, I'm using this as an example as to why the illusion of choice can be helpful. Okay. Let's just say that, you know, you do have a skill tree and it's like a healing tree on dark night. Uh, and let's say that you have been scarred many times by healers, not healing you, or, you know, let's say that, um, you know, you have been scarred many times by your TBN, not popping. And one of the talents in your skill tree is TBN is now a heal <laughs> instead of creating a shield that just heals you. Uh, I would take that <laughs> now, now, uh, Will that ever happen in this game? No, no. Um, however, I just brought up a skill tree type system because in other games that I've played, so I've played games like, you know, uh, Rift, uh, which had the most, the most amazing skill trees. Have you guys ever played that game? Did you guys, did you guys play that game? The soul, the soul trees in Rift were fucking S tier, man. They were so fucking good. They were so good, dude. Like, let me give you guys an example. The soul trees in Rift. Imagine you had, uh, okay, so you know how the tanks, you know, there's Gunbreaker, Warrior, uh, Paladin, Dark Knight, right? Okay. 
So imagine if those four, you could take abilities from each one. Okay. So imagine on warrior, you could take blood wedding and then take living shadow and then take like, uh, fucking like lion heart combo, you know, and then take like, I don't know, fucking something from paladin, like Holy spirit. Imagine you could take all of that and put them into one. Right. So the amount of like customizing that you could do to your character was fucking phenomenal. Okay. So like just that type of stuff. Now, obviously it wasn't, that's was just a quick TLDR on my point I'm trying to make, but it's more like you take like certain defensives and stuff like certain styles of play. Um, so you had these different soul trees and you took abilities from them and um, you could have three, I believe it was three trees active at a time. Okay. That is true. People would just copy the best setup in the end. Uh, that is true. That's why the skill trees are typically an illusion of choice. But the thing is, man, is that sometimes illusion of choice can be good. Uh, it can be good to bring up the monotony. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, um, like for instance, I had in Rift, I don't know how many of, of you have played Rift, but in Rift, I had um, uh, for each raid, I had a different tank that I would play. Uh, and within that raid, I would have one to two different sets. So I would typically have, well, I would typically have two different sets per raid because b some, some bosses did more magic damage. Some bosses did more physical damage. Some bosses didn't do as much damage. So I was able to spec into DPS more, you know, um, yeah, it was like really, really, really cool. You should start. You should started to play as healer main. This would be absolute cinema. Okay, so I'm going to take offense to that comment because uh, because of the way it's worded, okay? Like, what the fuck is that? Cinema. What is this? Like the fucking 80s and you're going to go to the theater? You know, like, like why would you say cinema? That doesn't make any sense. D like, so I'm going to take that as offensive. And the reason why I am is because I can actually play healer, but the way that's worded, I sense extreme levels of sarcasm, Okay was extremely derogatory. Okay, that you definitely took a bunch of like salt and you sprinkled it all over that fucking sentence. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I can't exactly remember what I was talking about. But yeah, so the skill trees, it's an illusion of choice and might seem nice, but will they ever put them in the game? No, I don't think so. Anyway. Um, okay, so this was an interesting thread. This was very funny to hear. Uh, just out of curiosity. Yo, yo, hey, what's up, guys? I want to talk about... Oh, we go, oh, yo! It went down, boys. You know, this is actually fucked because this, because this started at 60 and now it's 123. This is actually fucked. A lot of yapping and not a lot happening. I just want you guys to know. I just want you guys to know, dude, that um, so I I type what you guys type in other channels. So I'm going to add that to my uh, repertoire of things that I type. Yeah. Like when I'm in other channels, dude, I like, I take all of the things, right, that we do on this stream and I just fucking let it out. Fucking let it out. Yeah. Yeah. You copied Valley lore. Yikes. 
Yeah. Oh, man, let me tell you. Let me tell you, okay? Um, Sayori's chat is like, you have to like be a verified Twitch chatter. And that has saved her from, uh, well, well, that has saved her from a certain beardhead chatter posting art in the chat <laughs> and i'm very upset about that i'm very upset because well that behavior is very immature mr vex the behavior is very immature and i would never do that i would never do that now i can't speak for mr beardhead but i would never do that so i'm just i'm just gonna leave it at that okay anyway uh let's watch this all right, let's let's check this out. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, let's take a quick break, man. Let's take a quick break. Let's go get a drink. Let's go get a drink. Uh, oh, I got caught, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, one time, one time, <laughs> one time, dude. One time I was in, I was in violence chat, but I was, uh, I was on the wrong tab. And well, uh, oops, uh, I may have posted, uh, <laughs> I may have accidentally posted something that I should not have posted. Uh, and I felt really bad. <laughs> I felt really bad. Anyway. Okay. Uh, let's take like, let's take like a minute or two, man. Here's the, uh, here's this. We're going to look at it. Here's that. We're going to look at it. Um, uh, I'm going to grab a drink. I'm going to grab a drink. Take like a couple minutes. Take like a couple minutes, guys. We'll just BRB. Yeah. Like two minutes.
Ooh, okay. Man, I had, um, man, you remember the other day, uh, you remember the other day when I was like, when I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have some Wendy's tonight. Um, so I had Wendy's that night. <laughs> Dude. Dude. It was bad. It was fucking bad. It was real bad. It like fucked me up, man. I had like the, you know, I was like really sleepy, but I also like was in pain, like my stomach and shit, dude. No, I hadn't had Winnie's in a really long time, actually. I hadn't had it in a really long time. I mean... I didn't shit myself. <laughs> no. Hmm. Holy shit. Dude, Todd is going in so fucking hard. Right now. Holy shit. This is insane. This is really fucking funny. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Fucking shameful. All right. So, um, wait, can we see? Uh, yeah. So this is like, well, this fucking name, dude. What a fucking fucking loser, dude. All this guy does, this is Lionel's alt. All this guy does is just reply to people. Like what a fucking loser. This is this is what he's doing every single day. This is what he does. This is what he does every single fucking day. Actually fucking pitiful. Anyway, this is just like, it's like really funny because, because like Todd is like just fucking shitting all over this guy, man. Lionel is seething that people even use my throne list to send stuff. Gee, it would be, sh it would sure be a shame if that happened more often. Lionel, buy me a birthday gift. Oh, wait, you can't. You owe Zeme $23,000. Honestly, that was the best birthday present ever. Except Epping. You know, I'm going to be real, man. I'm going to be real. You guys need to step up your game. If you're trying to simp harder than this guy, this guy is my biggest simp. Lionel is my biggest simp, dude. I have never in my life had someone give me this much money. <laughs> or, well, rather, owe me this much money. How many subs is 23,000 fucking dollars? Hold on. I'm just going to put in five. I want to see how many gifted subs that is, dude. That's got to be a shit ton. Dude, that's like 4,600 subs or some shit. Holy mother of God. That's so many subs. I mean, he essentially like gifted 4,600 subs. Dude, imagine, imagine like talking, or, okay, imagine talking shit about somebody and they fucking beat the living shit out of you in, in, the, in the court system and then you have to give that person 4,600 gifted subs. I 
I think Kotaku and SBI are doing very important work, and you will agree with me right now, or I will contact your employer and have you fired. Reply with your agreement. You have 60 seconds. Wait, what? What do you mean? 60 seconds? What? What? I don't even... Com I don't even know what I'm supposed to comply with. Well, mm -hmm. I don't even know what I'm supposed to comply with. You must. I have no idea. Okay, anyway. Uh, yo, that's really funny. Uh, okay, so Final Fantasy XIV, Yoshi P says Dawn Trail will finally return. More individuality to the MMO jobs, admitting we're not in a good situation for that after years of oversimplification. Uh, is this the only resource on this? Yeah, yeah, I know baby metal. I like some baby metal, yeah. Uh, are... Yeah, I can turn this up, dude. Yeah, this is my jam, man. Dude, why don't we just listen to the fucking version with lyrics, man? Uh, is this is this the only article on this? Yeah, I like Kingslayer a lot. Uh, okay, we'll just read this first, and if yeah, if, if we if, if people link other shit. Um, I can look at that too. As the Final Fantasy XIV community expresses concerns with the oversimplification of jobs, director Yoshi P reveals that he's aware and that yes, Dawn Trail's future update will, rem will remedy this. Uh, while attending the recent Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail preview event, uh, Games Radar Plus spoke to director and producer Yoshi P regarding controversial job changes like the removal of Kaiten from Samurai's rotation in 6.1. Among... Dude, the thing is, man... Okay, I'm not a Samurai main. But I didn't really give a shit that Kaiten got removed. Like, I didn't give a shit. Like, if I'm not spamming Shinten, I'm just saving for Kaiten. Like... I don't think it's necessarily chitin that people don't or that people want back. People want back just anything else to spin your kinky on besides Shinten. <laughs> the thing is, is like, I don't think that people now I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that people necessarily miss chitin. They just miss the, uh, like basically your gauge mattering. Okay. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Now, like, again, I could be wrong, but when I look at Samurai, the the removal of Chitin didn't really... Like, now, granted, I'm not Samurai main, so, like, my opinion doesn't really matter too much. My opinion doesn't really matter too much. But what I'm saying is, is if you were to put something back on Samurai that was similar to Chitin, like, that you just expend your gauge in another way that was punishing if you didn't have it, then people would be okay with that. They would like it just as much as chitin, I think. Basically, the removal of chitin, it didn't just remove the ability, it removed the it 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 removed a um a level of skill. So it was one more thing that you don't have to think about anymore. So I guess what I'm saying is, is I don't think people necessarily miss chitin. I think people miss that, that layer of optimization. Does that make sense? Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take whatever. We'll just say I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, anyway, among the MMO fan base, there have long been concerns now for about classes becoming too simple with Sam being just one of the many, for example, one Reddit poll, asking players whether they're worried about Dawn Trail further contributing to the oversimplification of jobs revealed that largely the community is indeed afraid. Uh, from the various changes made to Astrologian's card and sex systems, I mean, I liked what, how they changed the cards. 
uh, much to my own dismay, to DPS class ability nerfs, some fans remark that they don't think it's possible for them to make jobs any simpler than they are. Thankfully, Yoshi P is well aware of this sentiment, as the rest of the Final Fantasy XIV team. Uh, in our interview with the developer, he promises that Sam's or the jobs like Sam won't be simplified any further, explaining that he's still really torn about job tweaks like the removal of Kitan. At the time of the skills removal, Yoshi P says there were more people requesting Kitan to be removed than were there happy with it. Yeah. I mean, that's true. Guys, you realize this? Okay, for those of you saying who, um, a lot of this stuff comes from the JP forms, okay? Like, a lot of the shit comes from the JP forms. Yeah, like, like you guys got to remember that Japan, their mentality and mindset on stuff is a bit different. Okay. So I guess it's just like, it's probably a culture thing that just because you, you and your friends don't really agree with this, that doesn't mean that there wasn't a vast overwhelming, um, I guess, need for one side. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it was the same community that didn't know how to properly to like min-max the DPS rotation of Samurai. Yeah. So that's like one thing. Uh, to my knowledge, a lot of JP players weren't playing Sam properly. Now, my knowledge extent... My... my basically... I guess how I came to that knowledge is just talk. So I, so that may or may not be true. I always just took it as like, you know, I just took it as what it was. Uh, I took it half serious, half false. That makes sense. Um, anyway, um, from the various changes made to Astrologian's car. Uh, wait, hold on. I've already read this. Oh yeah. They were not happy with it. Okay. Um, he continues describing how there's no answer in situations like this, as there are always going to be some people who prefer more difficult mechanics and then others who prefer simple mechanics. Okay, so right here, man, like this is, dude, <laughs> man, <laughs> he said this so many times, and I feel like people, they just, they're just not realistic, man. They're just not realistic. Like there has to be a give and take. Okay. There has to be a give and take, man. You, you have to accept the fact that no job is going to be perfect for you. You just have to accept it, man. And you have to accept that there's a ton of other people that also play this game and their opinion is going to be different than you or yours. Their skill set is going to be different. They're going to be better. They're going to be worse. They're going to be just as good. Like, it's just there's, there's a lot of different people that play this game, man. And I feel like the 14 is, so, is such a good game that people forget how good we have it. And then they go play other games, and then they come back to 14, and they're like, holy fucking shit, I love 14. And that's because of how good we have it over here. Okay? Like, this game has a lot of problems, but... It also has a lot of good things. It has way more good things. Um, so I feel like people will put their personal opinion over a realistic opinion. Okay, so I'll give you an example based on what I think. I wish Dark Knight would go back to like Heaven's Ward. Not everything about Heaven's Ward, but I wish that Dark Knight would be more punishing. It would have more than one combo. Um, now, that's what I want. But is it like a lot of people are happy with Dark Knight right now? They like all of the off GCDs. Uh, thank God they removed some of them. <laughs> but so like Dark Knight is fine to play. Is it boring? Uh, it can be. Uh, do I feel like I'm just hitting way too many off GCDs? Yes, uh, but it will be better in Dawn Trail. So for me personally, I'm trying to I'm trying to find a middle ground on what I personally want versus what I 
versus what I think the community would want or based on what I've heard, the feedback from the devs, the feedback from like you guys, right? And I try to base my my opinion on that, not my personal opinion, but my overall opinion. And I think right now Dark Knight will be in a in a better state in Dawn Trail because it'll have less spammy off GCDs, which is good. Um, and it'll still maintain what it had from Shadowbringers to Inwalker. Uh, so in my opinion, it's good. Now, does that, now, is that what I fully want? No. Um, I would like them to bring back, you know, like fucking power slash, not necessarily doing what the, what it does, but, uh, another combo. I would like them to, you know, if you go to zero mana, you lose dark side. I would like there to be a little bit of high risk, high reward gameplay. And that is the that is the thing I miss most from Dark Knight in Stormblood is the high risk, high reward. Um, because now there's literally no risk to Dark Knight. There's none. It just hit all your G, hit all your off GCDs. It almost doesn't even matter what order you hit them in. <laughs> you can hit Carbon Spit first. You can hit Shadowbringer first. You can hit fucking Edge first. As long as you just simply don't overcap on anything. That's literally. Okay, these are like literally the two rules of Dark Knight. Don't overcap. Always use a combo ability. <laughs> if you can do that, you can play Dark Knight. You can play Dark Knight. Paladin's going to be fantastic in Dawn Trail. All of the tanks are. All the tanks got better. Um, Gunbreaker got better in some ways, but also got worse in some ways. Um, carve and spit in my mouth. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Oh my god, dude. You guys, you guys, let me tell you a story. I actually have a story about that. T. T. Uh, okay, so. You know what? No, we ain't gonna talk. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Okay, anyway, what are we talking about here? Uh, and then those who prefer simple mechanics. You must tell the story. Nah, that's too cringe, dude. It's too cringe. All right. He's not wrong. The removal of skills like Chitin always sparks varying... Resp Wait, what is this? Oh. Hmm. Okay. When was this posted? This was posted a while ago, right? Yeah, two years ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I think we remember looking at that. All right. With many, miss, uh, with many missing an ability, but others disagreeing. This doesn't mean Square Enix doesn't take overwhelmingly negative feedback on board, though. Yoshi P states that right now he's also concerned about the simplicity of jobs, just as a major, just as the majority of fans are. Um, okay. I... I think that's wrong, actually. You guys, okay, do you guys, all right, now, now I'm going to ask a question. And before you answer, like, actually think about it for a second. Like, really think about it. Uh, we will strike if you don't tell the story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I, me, okay, years ago, me and this, uh, you know, me and this girl were flirting, okay? This is years and years ago, okay? Me and this girl were flirting, you know, you know, ooh, ee, you know, all this shit, you know, just, ooh, I like your pictures, you know, you like my pictures, you know, whatever, you know, just normal shit, okay? And, you know, we're talking about kissing, making out, cuddling, you know, all that shit, you know? All right? And, uh, 
<laughs> oh man. Yo, she's a good she's she's a good friend of mine still to this day. She's a good friend of mine to this day. And uh we were talking and um and you know, I was like, okay, well, you know, what what you know, what type of kisser are you? What type of kisser do you like? Do you like a lot of tongue? Do you like no tongue or do you like a little bit of tongue? And you know what she said, man? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. This is how I knew she was an awesome person. This is how I knew she was an awesome person. She was like, fuck, spit in my mouth. I don't care. And after I heard that, dude, I was like, holy fuck. Oh my God. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> my queen. <laughs> my queen. I kneel before you. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that was nice, dude. Mm -hmm. Main channel. Well, you know, no, I mean, that's just the type of shit you talk about, right? You know, like you flirting with somebody, you know, what type of culling you like, what type of kissing you like. Because I, mean, so, I mean, some people love a lot of tongue, okay? Some people just want to have their fucking mouth just like fucking, you know, violated by the other person's tongue, man. Some people, they don't want that shit. It's too much. It's too much. You know what I mean? And some people like a little bit, you know, you know, put the tongue in a, for, a, for a little bit, you know, take it out, put it in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Very, very, very weird. Oh, whatever. I'm not even talking about anything too crazy. I'm just talking about kissing. Jesus Christ. <sighs> What do I like? I mean, I mean, I can give you the full rundown. Yeah, you want, yeah, you want face hugger violations of, of you want face hugger level violate. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, some people do. No, some people do. Some people, I mean, hey, and that's cool. You know what? Hey, that's cool. Okay. See, I'm, I'm a switch man, you know? Um, me personally, uh, you know, I like all different types of stuff, you know, uh, you want to intrude on my mouth with your tongue, you know, Hey, that's, Hey, that's cool. You know, just as long as it's not like a lot of, you know, slobber and shit, you know, cause I got a beard. I don't want any fucking saliva in my beard. You know, as long as, 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 as long as it's all contained within the mouth, then it's fine. You know what I mean? Um, Some people have fetish on balloons. Careful, they can get horny looking at your bald head. Dude, I like how you guys ask me to tell you what I think, and then you're like, you are live. What? Main channel. Like, you guys wanted me to tell you. And now you're freaking out that I told you. I mean, me personally... Now that, I mean, we're on the subject, I mean, I'm into, you know, I'm a switch man, you know, like, you know, you want me to ram my tongue in there? Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to ram your tongue in mine? Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. It's fine. I can get down either way, man. <laughs> you, you want a little bit of tongue? That's fine too. You want a medium amount of tongue? That's down. You know, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I like variety. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ain't nothing wrong with wanting a single thing, though, you know? Anyway, uh, the beloved dev wants each player to have the ability to showcase one's, one's own technique or experience. I wonder if that's going to be edited out in this video. But says that we're not in a good situation for that due to the job simplicity as it is. Right now, Yoshi P then reveals that the team will remedy this as Dawn Trail and its future updates roll out. Working, uh, working towards a more fulfilling playing experience in patch 7.2 and beyond, we will look to the jobs and we will focus on providing more individuality with the jobs. Oh. Okay. So... So we're actually going to see a re okay. So according to this, we will see a rework of some of the jobs. 
why not 7.2 why not 7.2 and not 7.1 or why 7. Point, um i don't know uh you would think that it would be in 7.1 like with the expansion um the only thing that i could think of is that it just takes time and they want to see how the jobs currently perform uh as they are um i'm going to be honest man like we will look into the jobs and we will focus on providing more individuality in the jobs. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This, the people that are hopeful for this, I think they're getting their, I think that they're getting their hopes up and they're going to be crushed. Uh, I think that this doesn't mean a fucking thing. That's what I mean. Or that's what I think. Um, now, could this mean something? I mean, it could. It could. Uh, I'm not totally against, like, I'm not totally against this as far as could it happen. But uh, I guess because I've played this game for so long, um, I'm a, I'll believe it when I see it. If that makes sense. I'll believe it when I see it. So what I think they're going to do is uh, they said, we will look at the jobs. Uh, we will look to the jobs and we will focus on providing more individuality in the jobs. So I think that when they look at the jobs, they're going to be like, okay, how are they performing? If that answer is anything other than bad, they're just going to leave the jobs as they are. <laughs> <laughs> if the jobs are performing well and people are playing the game, there ain't no way they're going to change, dude. There ain't no fucking shot. <laughs> Why would you fix something that works? Why would you fix something that works? There ain't no shot. Okay, look. Look, I'm going to give you guys a more realistic, a more realistic perspective, okay? I hope that the game is just fucking balanced. That's what I hope. I hope that all of the jobs within each respective role is not any more than 3% DPS discrepancy. That's what I hope. <laughs> and I think that's I think that's a bit too much, okay? <laughs> so you take you take that. I mean, guys, you got to remember, man, you know, and you got to remember, like, you got to look at the last expansion. Now, last expansion was impacted because of Final Fantasy 16. Um, but, uh, so at least, I mean, okay. I guess I don't know that for 100%. Uh, did they ever mention that, actually? Ooh. I don't think they did... I don't know, man. Anyway, look. Oh, I saw that. They're working on two new games right now. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, God. It might even be worse. Yeah, it might be worse. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Yeah, so anyway, I guess my point being here, guys, is that Paladin and Warrior were literally fucking broken for, like, two fucking raid tiers. Okay? <laughs> like, they were suboptimal for two fucking raid tiers. Okay? So, you know, let's just hope that that doesn't happen again. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I guess just to sum this part up is that I think that this doesn't mean anything. That's what I think. I think this doesn't mean anything. I think that if you actually believe that they are going to redo the jobs, uh, I think you are setting yourself up for, uh, for failure and you are having the wrong expectation. But, uh, I'm saying that just based on playing this game for as long as I have, that doesn't mean that they could completely re redesign everything. I mean, they could, they could just, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying realistically what I believe is I'll just believe it when I see it. Uh, in an attempt to curb multiple updates worth of simplification, Yoshi P details how Square Enix will be incorporating various changes post Dawn Trail, some of which will be related to the skill rotations. He even jokes that Kitan could return as Kitan 2 and reiterate his earlier promise. Come such changes, classes uh, will not be more simple. 
will not be more simple. I doubt I'll ever see the intricate Astro card system from years past make a comeback, but I'm hopeful for others as the director stresses how well he understands that a lot of players want to be able to think for themselves. So, like, guys, um, so, like, right here, that's a lot of players uh, that a lot of players want to be able to think for themselves. Um, so I just want to point out, okay. Oh, thank you. XDD tree for the resub 19 months as rank one warrior and rank one in hair loss. He's never going to read this cause he's bald tit head. Did the lice find new, <laughs> did the lice find a new gome? Did you ever shave money on shampoo? Classic, hungry, classic, tired, classic, thirsty, classic. The sink looks nice to piss in. Classic. Never going to read all this. Bald tit head, bottom left, up enter, XDD tree. Part-time strummer, going to be four hours and I'm tired. Strum over, XFFing, bald. Okay, thank you for the resub. Juke Sola, thank you for the resub as well. 20 months. Read it. Read it. Um, okay. So, uh, I want to point out, right? A lot of players want to be able to think for themselves. And I just want to let you guys know that they came out with Viper, Okay. Holy shit, Zerv. Thanks for the gifties, man. Holy fuck. 20 gifties. Thanks a lot, brother. Um, so he says this, but at the same time, they're releasing a job with a, with a fucking built-in bot. <laughs> okay, so for those of you that don't know, like Viper has sort of a built-in smart rotation. Um, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like maintaining your buffs and stuff. Okay. So wait, do you guys really not know? Okay. So basically how Viper works is you, you press one and after you press one, you have two pads like a skill speed buff and a, a damage buff. Both of them will light up. So let's say you pick the skill speed and then you finish your combo. The next time you hit one, only the damage buff will light up. Not both of them. It's like Samurai, but on Samurai, there's not a smart rotation built in. Does that make sense? So imagine on Samurai, yeah, so imagine on Samurai if you did like uh, one and then you already had Jimpu active so that Jimpu wouldn't light up, only Shifu would, okay? Yeah, so that's like how it is. At least that's how it was dur uh, during the media tour. So next time you look at, uh, so there were a bunch of content creators that did videos on Viper. Next time you look at their, when you when you watch their gameplay, take note of the buttons they hit because after they hit one, even though you can technically reapply the skill speed buff and not lose any potency, it won't light up. Only the damage buff will. Yeah, so. Wait, what is this? Holy shit, Clive with the with the five I'm sorry I missed that Clive. Wait, what is this? Uh oh, is this pretty much what we read? Uh oh, I guess we can look at this too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we can look at this too. Yeah, yeah, no, it is good. No, it is no, it's insanely good. No, I agree. Um the thing is um, it's insanely good, but at the same time, it, it takes away any type of like optimization. Um, so if they're going to do that, that's fine. 
But in my opinion, they need to add another system to make the job skill ceiling uh, a little higher. Because basically, hitting the button that lights up, uh, that is about as low as you could possibly put the floor. <laughs> if that makes sense. Can we ban the chatter? The, do you guys not? Do you guys? Okay, let's just take a... Do you guys, do you guys not want to... Not want to look at this? Um, what do you mean futa on the sidebar? No, you don't. What are you talking about? <laughs> um... In the last letter from the producer, we talked about job identity and the desire to address the issue in Patch 8.0. While the homogenization of classes is much discussed problem within the community, could, your, could you comment on this issue and how the new Viper jobs and Pictomancer fit into the conversation? Uh, start from the... I'll start from the end. The new jobs implemented in version 7.0 were designed in light of the same balancing system adopted for all the others because our goal is that all jobs can be appreciated in the same way. We did not uh, take into consideration in their design what our players and projects for the near future regarding jobs are. What I can say that what I can say is that obviously when we release new jobs together with an expansion, they are developed by a team that each time carries out that job with more experience. So it happens more and more often that the newer classes seem more and more complete compared to legacy ones. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, there is a, I mean, yo, let me tell you guys, man. When you guys play Viper, you're gonna think, holy shit, this is a very, very fucking complete job because it does like everything. It does everything for you. Like, I can't wait to play Viper. Dude, you could be a fucking, you could play, dude, you could be an idiot and play that job. It's awesome. I can't fucking wait. It's really fun too, man. It's very fun. It might be easy as fuck, but dude, it's really fun. It's really fun. Um, There's a big difference you notice immediately. Often the younger jobs have a lot happening on the gameplay front. Speaking of the general mechanics of the jobs and my desire to strengthen the identity of the jobs, it is still early to cover the issue in detail, but there are two specific topics I would like to discuss. When developing the contents of Final Fantasy XIV, there are two strongly uh, interrelated elements that must always be taken into account. One is the battle content or the design of the battles and fights, while the other is the game mechanics of the jobs. Yeah, this is really good that they're like... Um, here, let me put on this song. This is really good that, they're, that, they, that they talk about this because in my opinion right now, the, the, the encounter difficulty is a little bit too high and the mechanics of the jobs is a little bit too low. So I think that they need to lower the difficulty of the content just a little bit and increase the difficulty of the jobs a little bit. When I say lower the difficulty of the content, I don't mean that I want every single fucking fight to be brain dead. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, basically, there are ways that you can lower the content, uh, the lower the difficulty of the content while still keeping it fun and challenging. Like, body checks are, are obnoxious. Uh, body checks are okay, if there's like, you know, here, one and there, you know, one or two here and there. But when every mechanic is a body check, it becomes obnoxious. That's not how the fight should be designed. Not in my opinion. Um, a fight can be very hard and very fun at the same time. Um, also, uh, a fight being hard does not equate. It's not like indicative of like good design or... Uh, I guess how fun a fight is. So like, I'll give you an example, DSR on top. DSR is, well, I mean, <laughs> it's harder than the party finder, but basically overall, I do believe DSR is, is a bit easier. It's noticeably easier than top. However, the fight is much better designed, way better. Uh, top is, is harder, but its design is in the fucking trash. It's in the gutter, in my opinion. So those are two good examples of how you can keep a fight super challenging and also maintain the um, the momentum, the fun, you know, aspect. While top is insanely difficult, but at the same time just being designed horrible. 
uh, regarding battle content, we've received a lot of player feedback in the past, and I've talked about it often. Let's say that in general, we have directed uh, development towards reducing player stress, and as a result, we have made certain decisions. One example was growing the size of the boss's target circle, increasing the distance from which you could attack them to the point that it eventually became too large. Likewise, when it comes to specific mechanics, we received feedback from some players that they didn't like certain mechanics. As a result, we decided to no longer implement them. In short, in general, from this perspective, I would say that we reached a de in a defensive manner or reacted in a defensive manner. Okay, so there are some mechanics in this game that should never fucking exist, like uh, Caloric, that should never fucking exist. Titan Jail should never fucking exist. P5 from top should never fucking exist. These are very uh, nail quotes from Yukob should never fucking exist. Okay? Um, and they have learned from those mistakes. Well, I can't say for top, but I would imagine they would learn from those mistakes. Um, but I believe that as a team, we have to face new challenges. Looking at, simp looking at the example of mechanics, I'm convinced that instead of stopping uh, implementing the less popular ones, we should ask ourselves, first of all, what was wrong with them? How we could fix or expand them? Um, yeah, okay. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah, you first identify the problem. Uh, let's say, um, let's take an example. Uh, so let's look at nail quotes. Instead of nail quotes, what if nail glue or uh, like glowed a different color? Um, so what if like, what if it would do the quote and then it would be like red? Okay. Uh, what if, what if nail like glowed like red? So then that would mean, you know, like dive into dynamo or some shit. Okay. Um, or blue, right? Blue would be like, I don't know, chariot into dynamo or some shit. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. FP Pong, glued blue. Okay, all right. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, sorry. I'm my. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think at the same time as read. Fuck off. Okay. Anyway. Uh, similarly, as regards the target circle of the bosses, if on the one hand making it larger brings an advantage for the players because it allows them to attack practically always. On the other hand, it makes it much more difficult to express the ability and the talent of the individual player. Okay, this is very good because I love finding like uptime stuff, little pockets of uptime. I think that's very important uh, to be able to do. Our goal obviously shouldn't be to stress players for the sake of it, but at the same time, we must take into account the decree of, sa of satisfaction they feel when completing content. I mean that there must be a right and appropriate amount of stress so that the satisfaction at the moment of completion also increases and this is something we are already working on in dawn trail and in the 7.x patches we absolutely don't want to wait until 8.0 but we intend to tackle this challenge immediately okay okay so they're going to do something they are going to do something okay let's now move on to the mechanics of job when was this posted Okay, seven days ago. Okay. Let's now move on to the mechanics of jobs. We often get feedback like this job has a gap closer skill and mine doesn't. The most obvious solution is to implement similar skills for each job. But doing so runs the risk of ending up in a situation where all jobs become too similar to each other. It's true. Our desire is to create a situation in which each job is equipped with its own skills, manages to shine in its own unique way, and there is, a lot, there is also a sort of pride in playing a particular job. Uh, by strongly differentiating these jobs, we will be able to reach the goal we have set ourselves. This is why we would like to take a step back and put things uh, back to how ooh to how they were before. Okay, okay, now how they were before. This is nice to hear, but what? But how? How are they talking about? Are they talking about like Shadowbringers? Are they talking about Stormblood? Are they talking about Heaven's Ward? Now, they've already mentioned that things will never go back to Heaven's Ward. They have mentioned this in an interview a uh, long time ago. 
and honestly, it shouldn't go back to Heaven's Ward. I was a big fan of Heaven's Ward. It was back in... Okay, so let me ask you guys a question. For those of you that played Heaven's Ward, okay? For those of you that played Heaven's Ward and actually still play the game to this day, did you or did you not feel forced to become a better player in Heaven's Ward? Because me? You were forced to be a better player. Like, if you made it through Heaven's Ward and you did every savage fight, you are a much better player at the end than you were at the start. Hundred fucking million percent, and the things that you went through during Heaven's Ward, like the amount of optimizations you had to do, the amount of uh, like little stuff that you had to do that you don't have to think about anymore, all of that has probably, probably made you an insanely better player now considering the fact that the jobs are so are so much so much easier. So like for those of you that played in Heaven's Ward, yeah, that expansion forced you to learn. You didn't have a choice. You didn't have a choice. You either had to learn or you weren't clear in shit. Um anyway. Uh so I mean this is good. Uh this is one thing though that um this is one thing this is a really good thing here. So this part right here where it says the job has a gap closer skill and mine doesn't. This right here is the the reason why jobs are homogenized right here is because back in the day, the only tank that had a gap closer was, was Dark Knight. But warriors and paladins, they felt like, no, this is bullshit. I want a gap closer. So they gave warriors and paladins gap closers. Okay, well, now that homogenizes the job more. Okay, so basically, and this happens to every single role, you will have a role that a specific class in that role, uh, they, they have an ability that the other roles want. And the gap closer is a really good example of this. Well, back in the day, the only tank with a gap closer was Dark Knight. Um, so yeah, also back in the day, Paladins didn't have AOE. They didn't have AOE back in the day. Imagine that. You know that fucking what's that what's that what's that ability called? What's that ability? You know what Paladin's AOE was? It was Flash. It was this ability called Flash, and it did no damage, and it was uh it did no damage and it just blinded all the enemies around you. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that ability. I'm talking about the current one. It's like it the current one now, the AOE damaging ability. They didn't have that back in the day. They didn't have it. Yeah, prominence. It's like prominence and whatever the fuck the other one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So imagine doing a oh yeah, total eclipse and in prominence. Yeah. So those abil like those abilities, they didn't even exist until what like Stormblood or some shit. I think. Like basically, paladins the their their only AOE was flash, and it was like they just stuck their sword up and this like you know flash happened and it was just this AOE. Uh, enmity generating ability. Yeah. That was it. So, uh, obviously, Paladin mains were like, what the fuck? I can't even do damage with my AoE. Uh, so, yeah. So then they gave AoE to that job. But, but, what, but what people don't understand is like all of these cool things from other jobs, right? Like a gap closer, AoE damage. Once they give that stuff to every roll, because every roll wants it right if you play like uh you know uh let's say let's say you play like white mage right and you're like well this is no fair i, I want a gap closer too you know uh i want to be able to teleport well now you're getting one but at the same time you're they're also homogenizing the jobs more but it's because of us that they're homogenizing the jobs that is what people need to understand is that we are the reason why the game is the way that it is because we bitch and complain that oh we want 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 what like you guys have this unrealistic expectation is that you want your job to do everything but at the same time everybody else wants their job to do everything and if you can do everything then every job is the same does that make sense <laughs> So like at that point, it's almost like a forced homogenization. Okay. Uh, the most, so anyway, uh, hold on. Uh, okay. So uh, another fundamental issue concerns synergies. 
we choose we chose to align the buff windows within a window lasting 120 seconds because otherwise it would have been impossible to align rotations of the different jobs uh okay uh right here i disagree with this entirely uh because that is just flat out wrong um you can definitely burst at one minute 100 percent. you can have 60 second bursts and i would actually prefer 60 second bursts yeah no i agree right like some some homogenization is good and needed uh it's a fine balance a job can have different feel when you play it without missing some of the gap closes it's just hard to balance giving them more unique rotations yes um i do you guys okay let me ask you guys a question would you would you rather it stay the same or burst every minute because me personally i would want to burst every minute and the reason why is because it makes the job more fun. You're doing more shit. You're hitting your buttons more often. So I personally, I don't like two-minute shit. I would want to do like my Lionheart combo every minute. Um, that's, what I, that's, that's what I would want. Um, I would want to use my shadow every minute. Um, but, I mean, that's... Obviously, they would have to nerf it to some point. I think that some abilities are okay at two minutes. I think it's fine. Some some abilities are okay at two minutes, but like the core... Uh, so like, I'll give you an example, right? Like the shadow, it's fine at two minutes. I don't really care. Um, however, Lionheart should be every minute. You should burst... You should do your Bloodfest Lionheart combo every single minute. Um, it would literally fix every issue with the job on top of making the job more fun. Um, the shadow is fine at two minutes that's fine um i don't understand why salted salted earth is not a minute or two minutes i think it's really weird it should be either 60 seconds or two minutes <laughs> i think that's weird that it's not um so there are some abilities for example that should be two minutes or can be and it's fine but i think a majority like core rotation stuff should be on, should be on a minute but anyway that's my opinion that's if you agree or disagree, that doesn't mean that either one of us are right or wrong. It's just, you know, our opinions. But uh, even in the case, the result was to make the job rotations extremely similar, and I don't think that's a good thing. So why not act now? The battle content and the job mechanics are strongly interconnected. So we set ourselves the challenge of refining the battle content and the battle mechanics first, then focusing on the jobs only afterwards. If we were able to rework everything at the same time, it would be extremely chaotic for the players. That's true. They've said this before. And that's why in the live letter, I wanted to explain to the players that we will first uh, fix the battle mechanics and give the audience time to get used to it. Then, only then, can we work to make jobs more exciting. I meant this in the live letter. It's the reason the job work is coming later in the future. So what they're basically saying is, is they're going to try to design the encounters differently. So instead of everything being like, you know, the first five seconds, you're going to hit by a raid AOE into a tank buster, into a chariot, and then followed by a spread into a stack, you know, that type of shit into protean, all, all of that type of shit. They're going to introduce new mechanics. Okay. So they want us to get used to the new design, the new design uh, of the fights okay once we get used to the design of the fights so you know in one of the dungeons we we saw that that um it was a diamond dust and a tornado so it was like a, a diamond dust tornado that was new but that's never been seen before at least to my knowledge it's never been seen before that's just one small example of the new things that they're going to add okay yeah i i actually i thought that first dungeon was sick I actually really enjoyed the dungeon. I thought it was really cool. There was a lot going on. Uh, with some of the stuff the same, yeah. Um, but uh, the bosses, like, keep in mind it's only a dungeon, so my expectation is extremely low. But just the fact that some of those bosses had stuff we'd never seen before, that was pretty cool. Okay? That's pretty cool. Um, so, so, yeah, this is, like, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with, with the jobs. And I wonder what jobs are going to start with. I really hope that they start with something that they haven't touched in a long time. One of them being fucking warrior. That would be nice. Uh, just to see something new, but whatever. Um, I haven't seen that interview yet. No, no, no. Oh, 100% Bard. 
Oh, I guess when was the last time Bard was changed or something? Oh my God. Shadowbringers? Or no, Stormblood? No, Stormblood. Yeah, Stormblood. Because that's when they changed it from... Uh, that's when they changed it from... Bow Mage. Yeah. Bow Mage. Do I think they'll talk about Black Mage tomorrow? Oh, wait. Is there a... When's the live letter? Is that tomorrow? Okay. Uh, does it... Oh, God. It's in 12 hours. Oh, 4 a.m. PST. Yeah, ain't no way, bro. No, I ain't gonna be up for that, guys. I ain't gonna be up for that, man. I'm sorry. Nah, we'll rack to it. Get EP. EP. <laughs> nah, ain't no way, man. Mm -mm. Dude, they're not even going to talk about anything crazy, man. They're not even going to talk about anything crazy. <sighs> Bro, it's going to be so crazy. You don't even know. How do you know that? <laughs> How do you know that? Will you read the future? Will you a psychic? Fucking dumb. Oh, yeah, guys. Part four is up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me link this real quick, man. Uh, yeah, part four is up. For any of you following this fucking drama. But man. I am the one. Oops. Uh, yeah, part four is up. Uh, real quick. Um, uh, real quick. Um... I just want to talk about that briefly. Um, wait, rating Savage Extremes and Ultimates is reserved for less than 5% of players? No. That's, no. That is a huge misconception. Sa okay, first off, Extremes are even casual people who do Extremes. Savage mid-core players do, do Savages. Even Ultimate is higher than 5%. The last census showed like around 10% people do ultimates. <laughs> That's a huge, weird, complete misunderstanding, man. <laughs> um, anyway, so what I was saying. Yeah, so what I was saying, man, is... Uh, yeah, so uh, I want to talk about this real quick, guys, because for those of you, for those of you that have been following uh, all the, the Desolence drama and shit... Um, he's on full cope. He's in hush mode. Um, he's like, yeah, he's just being exposed for everything and good. Um, he really doesn't know what to do with his time other than like, you know, watch the stream and change video titles. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, but, uh, so there are, there are plans for, there are plans for some, for some stuff. Um, I'm going to, well, not me, but um, I'm going to talk with Sweeba and I'm going to uh, talk with Leo um, and 
we are going to take all of the information from the four videos and we are going to try to condense it as much as we can and try to put out a summarized version, a summary that is around 25 to 30 minutes. Um, now, basically, I did my best to take all of the information and condense it already <laughs> as much as possible into a digestible, into a digestible format. Um, which I, I think I did a pretty good job of doing that. But the problem is, is there's just so much information. There's so much context that unfortunately, like he is such a shit vile person that, you know, all of that information, there's just, it's just, just a mountain of just liquid shit that people have to like sift through. Um, so trying to condense that into 30 minutes is going to be very challenging. Uh, but we'll see. But that's the, but that's the, but that's a lot. Um, yeah. So basically, basically I'm just, the goal here is to give context. We're going to, so like, ideally I'm going to have like the context at the beginning, who he is, why, uh, why I sued him. And, and then after that, we're just going to go boom into Naomi's statement, boom into Lama Todd's statement. Then we're going to go, we're going to show the video where, I mean, he basically humiliates himself. Um, and he talks about Amber and he admits to being jealous of me in every way, shape or form. Uh, while at the same time calling me old and trying to shit on me. Uh, and we'll have that video. And then we'll have uh, Amber's statement and then Ember's statement. And then we'll have the lawyer voicemails. Um, definitely have those. And then my lawsuit, like, you know, showing proof that I won, showing proof that he owes me $23,000. And then after that, we'll go into the Katie, uh, we'll go into Katie's court, court documents. And I think that'll be, I think that'll be it. Yeah. Uh, so he has a court date uh, to get the, there was zero proof. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny about that, man? Okay, you know what's funny is the fact that there is an account called Human Sadness Lionel and the stuff that that person is typing is literally just as ridiculous as the shit Lionel himself types is just very humorous to me. It, it, it is extremely funny to me, man. Holy fuck. Um, uh, so, yeah, for those of you interested, he has a court date here on June 20th. Um, he has to explain why he should not be held in contempt of court for breaking the stalking, or, the stalking protection order that I have on him. I don't know what's going to happen to him. Uh, because this case is not as serious as my lawyers. Um, I don't know if they're going to issue a warrant or another warrant rather. I don't actually know what, what's going to happen. Um, I'll find out and I'll let you guys know. I don't expect much to happen because at the end of the day, guys, uh, at the end of the day, um, it comes down to money and for them to go and charge him and arrest him, they're going to have to extradite him back here. And when they extradite him, back here that's going to cost money uh and they're probably not going to want to do that so uh we'll we'll find out um but the one with my lawyer is completely different the one with my lawyer is um criminal uh he is charged with three with three criminal charges and unfortunately for him my lawyer lives in the same state as him so extradition or uh, to extradite him, they don't need to do that. Uh, so basically he will have to answer. He will have to explain how that is not his voice on those voicemails. He posted a new video about you. I mean, honestly, man, that, that is pretty much a summary of what he of what he says. 
Yeah. That's actually, that, that, that is a perfect summary of everything that comes out of his mouth. My lawyer's case is separate from mine, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my, me and, me and my lawyer's case. Okay, there, okay. There is a reason why he will not. He, he doesn't dare. He doesn't dare say or mention anything about my lawyer or those or those voicemails or threatening my lawyer he will not he won't and he fucking knows better he fucking knows better can i get mods since you're full-on vips no but you can get this ban i got plenty of them i got plenty of them going around get that ban he hasn't posted a video in a long time or well not a long time he hasn't posted a video in a while uh I don't know if he's going to. Um, I just hope that when he does, the fucking pussy will talk about my lawyer and he will talk about the the threats that he made my lawyer. Um, yeah. But he won't, though. Nah, he just keeps making community posts and uh, that's all he does. Um, yeah, all he does is make community posts and change the title of his videos. Oh, he said he was going to post something on the 28th. Good. Good. Hope he does. And I hope it's about my lawyer. On the 28th, Eeyore's Eeyore will tremble. <laughs> what a fucking joke. What a fucking joke. The only thing that's going to be trembling is him. If his mom ever finds out the shit he's done, man. Well, I don't know. She probably knows. Dude, can you imagine if he lost internet? If he lost internet, he wouldn't know what to do with his fucking life. Wait, what is this? I guess we'll watch Chilling Scares later. The 28th. Eorzeans will tremble. Fucking joke, man. Um... Twenty eighth is new pandemonium tier. Thirteenth turn. Wait, what is this? I'm not gonna lie, bro. These young. Oh my god. Can we just end for the day? This isn't wrecked. Tree, please. Hmm. Are we overworking? Oh, no, I'm not gonna be up, guys. I'm not going to be up in the morning, man. I don't, dude, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up that early, man. I don't want to wake up, man. Here, let me turn on channel points, man, so people can put in, like, sub requests and shit. You guys can, like, fart it up if you want. <laughs> yeah. Boo! Boo! Uh, uh, uh. Um, no, I turned channel points off for like the, you know, the, re the, um, not redeems, but like, well, I turned them off because of the sound alerts. It's not because I hate Wins, you. bear cigs. Blah, 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 no, it's not that I don't want you to have fun. It's just what I'm trying to react and we talk about stuff, you know?
Filthy rats! Um. Oh, I saw Tech Tone reacted to it. Yeah, man. Like, uh, I mean, anybody that does, I really appreciate it. Just spreading awareness, you know, of this fucking, fucking idiot. Yeah, just anybody that reacts to it, man. And honestly, like, anybody can. They can monetize it. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Uh, later, I'm, yeah, later, like I mentioned, you know, uh, we're going to try to make a condensed version. So it's around like 30, 30 minutes, somewhere like that. It's going to be really challenging, but probably going to do that. Um, <laughs> no, I know. Tectone couldn't even get through part one, man. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing, man. It's like, maybe I should have put a disclaimer. Bet you can't make it through the whole part. Or <laughs> bet you can't make it through the whole video. <laughs> um, but yeah, are we overworking, guys? Um... Yeah, you guys care if I wrap it up? Shut up, bitch! Okay. You guys care if I wrap it up for the day? I'm going to be on tomorrow. We're going to be on tomorrow, man. Um. Oh. Oh. Um. Hold on. Uh. Let me see. Part-time streamer. Come on, bro. Come on. Dude, today was pretty fucking hilarious, though, man. Holy fuck. Look at this guy. Jesus Christ. My God. I'm the cream of the crop. Woo! Woo! Uh, <laughs> man, I had a lot of fun today, man. Holy shit. Today was really fun. I did not expect that forum post. Oh my God. I did not expect that forum post guys. Holy shit. All right. Uh, yeah, man. So, um, I think I might call it for today. Sorry. We didn't really play the game, but, uh, I feel like, uh, we'll play the game tomorrow. I kind of. Um, I don't want to like burn myself out on the game, you know, cause there's kind of like nothing to do, but tomorrow, but tomorrow we're going to try some Shiva again, I think. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to try some Shiva. And then after Shiva, after Shiva, we'll watch the live letter. So does that sound like a good, uh, does that sound good? Uh, can we do that tomorrow? So tomorrow, um, Uh, tomorrow, well, no, we can't rag to the live letter first because I'm, because, uh, we're going to raid. I'm pretty sure we're raiding unless we don't raid. And in that case, uh, in that case, I will, I guess I can, um, uh, okay. Hold on. What is this? What the fuck? Huh. Yo, thanks, I was for the uh hmm. This is interesting. Huh. I'm gonna message my Hmm. Okay. Anyway guys. Uh <laughs> Yo, this guy's bald. This guy looks like that he just saw himself in the mirror and realized he was bald. I don't like that picture. This person used to have uh, their their adventure plate used to say, get out of my swamp or something like that, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, so can we... Okay, so is that cool, guys? Tomorrow, tomorrow we'll do... We'll just chill. 
Uh, we'll do Shiva. We'll fuck around with that, and then and then we'll rack to the live letter. Okay, we'll rack to the live letter, and then maybe do some, and maybe do like a scary rack or something. Um. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, okay, guys. Uh, real quick, though, before I go, man, I want to thank you guys again for all the subs, dude. Um, yo, Hawkeyes, 106 months at Tier 2. Holy fuck. Thank you so much for that. I'm really sorry I didn't see that. Mol uh, Molko with the, with the raid. I'm sorry that I didn't see that either. Um, Z, happy fun time. Erica. Uh, Clive, thank you again for the gifties. And Zerf, thank you again for the gifties. I'm sorry that I didn't see those guys. Apologies, man. A lot going on today. Today was really fun. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, dude. Today was, today was pretty fun, man. Um, again, let me plug this one more time. Uh, this is part four. This is part four. Um, we... We're gonna try to make. We're gonna try to condense that into thirty minutes somehow. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna do it, but that's in the future. Uh, the next, the next few uploads will not be de uh, Desolence related. Well, actually, we have that really funny forum post, so it might actually be. Uh, but we're gonna squeeze in some other stuff there, and then after that, uh, we'll upload the summary. Um, but thank you guys again for hanging out. Um, thank you as always for the subs and the resubs. I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll do some Shiva, and then we'll react to the live letter. Uh, I won't be up for the live letter, guys. Ain't no way, man. That's like, dude, that's 6 a.m. my time. It ain't fucking happening, man. I'll just rack to it. Like, you know, we'll we'll watch it because there's going to be some people that are going to miss it, right? So we'll just see it together, okay? So I'll see you guys later. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Wherever you are in the world, have a good day. Have a good night, and I'll see you later. Peace. Are you insane? Aren't you forgetting something? Strummer, the kisses are critical!